and welcome to the club. My club are mental, aren't they? 21 is coming. You're chatting gas. <laughs> Embarrassing. Oh, f off, ref! Most toxic fan base in the world are Arsenal. Liverpool, the worst champions ever. <laughs> <laughs> welcome to the stream. Welcome to the club. Biggest game of the season. It's Liverpool versus Manchester City. It is big. It is big, mate. That was a good intro. You're on fire today. I've got a good mate, feeling a about screen. today. I've I got don't a good feeling that, about today. <laughs> <laughs> You're all over the place, move. Start as you mean to go on. Come you are on. Right. Biggest game of the season. Is that fair? Is it the biggest game of the season? Yeah, of course it is. The two best sides. And Arsenal are in there. Two but best sides, two best managers, if we two draw most this game, successful in recent years. Yeah, if we draw this game, then Arsenal Man City becomes the biggest game of the fixture. But at the moment, it's the two best sides in the country competing for the Premier League title. It's beautiful. It is huge. It is huge. It feels... Is it too... Am I being too strong here? Is it a title decider? I don't think it is, is it? It's a, of course it is. It's not a decider. A decider says... A, a, when I say decider, you go, whoever wins this game wins the league. It's not that. Is it? Yeah, of course it is. Yeah, 100%. What, you think this is it? If City win this game, I think they won the league. Seriously. And I if think we can go on a winning run that is unparalleled. And if City don't win this game... Then it opens up for Arsenal. Arsenal need a Liverpool win. Arsenal need a Liverpool Arsenal, draw no, no, less. No. Arsenal need a draw. No, because I think Arsenal fans are out there. I'm seeing a lot of Arsenal fans after the result yesterday. We'll talk about it on the stream, of course. Thinking that a, a, a win for Liverpool is, is actually better for them because it takes even less points away from City. Uh, even more points away from City. No, but they're incorrect. Closer. I'm going to demonstrate how incorrect they are yep. with very simple, quick maths, right? If either team win, three points are on the board for someone. Three points. So ours, there are three points. If both teams draw, there are two points on the board. Yep. So there are less points available to other teams. But they think that Liverpool will drop more points and it gives them an advantage. That's what I've seen from Arsenal. You know, when I've chatted to Arsenal mates uh, in the last 24 hours after what is an incredible comeback win essentially after mm. from a drawing position against Brentford uh, they think that Liverpool winning is better for them weirdly do you think yeah I, I don't know if I agree I think if Liverpool win the game they could go on a winning streak just like Man City I think the worry for Liverpool if I were if I were an Arsenal fan or a City fan the reason why I'd be scared of Liverpool is because I irrationally and I get that this isn't rational but I kind of believe in in things I'm not like you I don't believe in like star signs and all that kind of weird stuff <laughs> but I do believe that the stars can align for a football team and I think Liverpool have a th thing going on at the moment like you know in 2012 when Chelsea won a European Cup it was in the stars man it was there it was happening there was nothing that anyone could do Messi's missing penalties Chelsea are knocking Barcelona out Chelsea are going out against Napoli Ivanovic scores Chelsea go to buy Munich to play Munich in Munich and we won mm. I think that there's something going on with Liverpool you know like, I, I really do. You know, since Klopp announced it, like, I'll tell you why I believe it and how I can prove that I believe it with regard to everything, not just the title race or not just specific clubs. I kind of knew they were going to beat us at Wembley. Not because they're a better team than us. They are a better team than us. But that isn't why I knew they were going to win. I knew they were going to win because it's happening. It's Klopp. It's, there's a, there's a, there's a, a natural phenomenon going on. It's like a twister, a tornado. You know when that cow got hooked up in the in the twister <laughs> film? You seen the film Twister? Seen that, that tornado in comes in, right? And there's a cow standing there, <laughs> and a cow goes flying. <laughs> Right. This is this is this is it. There's cows in tornadoes, man. Yeah, hundred percent. Look, I, I think we're in a very, very special position and we have to talk about Super Six because we're in a very special position with all this money we've money, got. From money, Super money, Six. Money. Look at this, lads. Money. Wow. Money, 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 money. There's been no winner of Super Six this week, Royce. So there's a rollover of three quarters of a million pounds for winning Super Six. That's happening in the next few weeks. Make sure you download Super Six and join our mini league. It's Club 23 to play. And you could be winning some serious... This is real money, lads. This Look is at this. real big boy money. Oh, mate. Unbelievable. Money, money, money. Royce, here... I'm going to make it rain on Booby. Booby, do a dance. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoa, <laughs> go baby <laughs> No, Royce, here's to you, mate uh, This is for your suffering dur uh, during the Todd Bowley era Mate, I, okay? I mean, I, I deserve a lot more than this that, You can get a couple of uh, bottles of champagne with that This is, this is amazing, isn't yeah, it? Have 100%. you ever, have you, like, you're a man who's You're a man who knows his way around a pound note Have you ever, <laughs> ever 
seen real money? Well, not that this isn't real, but have you ever seen genuine money? Like I'm cashless these days, mate. Are you cash? I'm contactless, mate. I'm very much cash is king kind of guy. Cash is king. Yeah, 100%. But yeah, we've got a shout out Super 6. Make sure you download the app. You'll be supporting the club and helping us out massively. And there's three quarters of a million pounds to play. All, all, all for playing a free to play game for predicting some football <laughs> scores. Absolutely <laughs> it's amazing. There is a f- it's all for playing a free to play game. Yeah. You could win how much? Seven hundred, seven hundred and fifty thousand pounds. That is amazing, and it won't cost you a penny. And if you get it right, you will be caked, caked. There is a super chat that has landed, Boovy. I'm going to go straight to it. It's from Tamzid the Sane. What's happening, Tamzid? I believe that the number one next to your name means that this is your first ever interaction with the club. So welcome to the club, and please click subscribe. We are honoured to have you with us. Thank you for your contribution, Tamzid. This is an easy one for you, Boovy. Straight off the bat, who is better? Sack or phone? Phone's at a different level. I'm sorry. Uh, we can debate who's better on the right wing. I think Phone's past that point now of being a winger. I think he's a number 10 or he's an t- attacking midfielder. Saka has to prove it still at the highest level. And Arsenal fans will criticise me for uh, for saying that. Saka's been fantastic this season. I think in the last few weeks as well, he's upped his numbers, upped his goals and assists. No question. But Phil Foden, I, I think Phil Foden gets slept on because we are not a social media club like Arsenal. We don't have many as many fans. It, I think it's a huge thing, mate. On a sporting level, you take away your bias, your allegiances. Phil Foden's achieved things that Steven Gerrard's never achieved. Mm. To, to some extent, Frank Lampard. I'm not saying he's better than those players. But in terms of sheer success in the game, we're talking he's won, he's won more league titles than Lampard. He's won the same amount of, of Champions Leagues as Gerrard and Lampard. But you and know when you, say, you, when you say slept on, that suggests that people aren't aware of Foden's brilliance or they don't acknowledge Foden's brilliance? Not to, not to I the don't, same I level. I don't think that's There true. isn't a fanfare around him in the same way and there should be. Uh, as a City fan, it's one of those, it's like a, uh, an unkept secret. I don't, I don't care that people don't mm. respect Foden in the same way. I don't think City fans really care. We know how special he is. But are you not, are you, when you and you're not usually guilty of this, but are you doing that, for what's, what do they call that? A straw man argument? Are you are you employing that now? Because you're basically going. People don't. People sleep on Foden. People don't rate him. I, th- I don't think that's true. I feel like everybody rates him. Everybody's aware of his brilliance. There is a clamber to get him in the England team. There was there was a, an image of Gareth Southgate watching him play, mm. and everyone was like, "I hope." Like Gareth Southgate was at that game, and everyone was like, "Mate, you better you better be watching because yeah. there needs to be a Phil Foden in the England team. Where and how you make it work? That's not one for me. That's for Southgate. Yeah, but Foden has to start for England. Are you? What, why? Maybe I'm wrong here, but I feel like people do understand the brilliance of Phil Foden. I think most people would say that he is... You know, if you were to pick one player this season... Let's play a game. Do me a favour. Do me a favour. Pick one player this season. You can literally pick one player from any club this season. Who is the best player this season? I'm going to just like look at some of the replies coming in. Let's just see. Boovy equals goat. Okay, I'll that's, take that. I mean, I agree with that, but I'll that is that. not the point. <laughs> uh, I rate Foden, but Saka is clear. Okay, that didn't go as I that didn't go as I intended. Uh, I've got a feeling that the vast majority of people are, just write just write the name of the just write the name of the player that you think Rice. is the best. Declan Rice is in there. Modric, Rodri, Rodri, Ollie Watkins. Okay, so this hasn't gone Foden. Do you know what I thought this was going to be? I'm I'm completely wrong, Boovy. Maybe you're right. Maybe this proves your point. You, when I was a kid, yeah, I remember. I, I just remember thought that was gonna. I just thought that our our chat there was gonna just do a million. Yeah, Foden. Yeah. No, it doesn't I, work like that in the YouTube space, unfortunately. But when I was a kid, I remember the Lampard Gerrard thing. Mm. It was huge. Everyone was talking about it. Everyone was debating it. Everyone was saying when they were in the yard playing football, "I'm Gerrard. I'm Lampard." There was this huge furore around mm. both players, Adidas campaigns, and mm-hmm. all sorts. I don't think Foden gets the same... I don't think he does. I can't believe it. To amplify your point, Boovy, you're completely right. I've seen one from someone called Lord Maximus. One Foden, one uh, above from Cad Jesus, but the vast... You're, you're right. I, I called it a straw man argument and you were completely right and That's I apologise. That's okay. No, you were right. I, I, I thought that you were going to look completely incorrect yeah. because I thought that the chat was going to go bang, 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 and it would be 80% Foden's. It's yeah. 80%... Well, it's 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 ninety percent non Foden. So no. I'm I'm very surprised by that. I think Why it, is that? I think he gets thrown into the Wayne Rooney thing. I, I, here's the thing with Phil Foden. Yeah, I, I think a lot of people underrate him because he was in and outside a lot. He was managed by Guardiola. He wasn't playing uh, where he wanted to play positionally. One minute he's left wing, next minute he's on the bench, next minute he's right wing. Mm. Always had a, a massive amount of involvement in games, but didn't always start football matches, especially in the eighteen, nineteen, twenty kind of period of of Man City's time with Guardiola. Uh, and I do think. Uh, ultimately, the way he came onto the scene matters. You know, we, we talk about Rooney, 2004, going about smashing people, scoring volleys, huge mm. goals. 
Foden didn't quite come about in the same way. I, th- I think football is a very cinematic sport and you remember how that first impression came about Phil Foden's first impression for City fans was in the FA Cup scoring I think it was against Oxford or yeah. Newport one of those sites yeah it's taken time it's it, I agree with you that it's taken time I also agree that there have been there have been times where Phil Foden perhaps some would have said he could have gone out on loan I think he's a better player for it now but you're right he has been eased gently into the Manchester City side he has been eased into the spotlight but I would have said the, the best player this season, the, the standout player in the Premier League this season, I think I would have said it's either one of two players. I think it was very easy for me. I would have gone Declan Rice, Phil Foden. Yeah. Out of those two, I, I don't know how passionate I am. I think if somebody, I'd probably have said Rice. Salah maybe else, as well, Van Dijk. I think it's one from each side, isn't there? I think it's a three-horse race. I, I, I don't think I agree with that either. We're not getting on today. I don't think I agree with that. <laughs> I think it's a three-horse race. Whoever wins the league gets their... P- I think no, Liverpool, Liverpool, the year Liverpool, will be... Liverpool are so... They're, they're so full of unity. Mm. Liverpool, Liverpool it, is, it is the very definition of a team. At various points this season, they've been standout players. But there isn't... Like the jewel in the crown of Manchester City this season is undoubtedly Foden. Foden is pulling winners out of the bag. Foden is the one driving the team on. Foden is the personality of that team. Everything that I've just said about Foden is applicable to Declan Rice. Declan Rice, last-minute winners. Declan Rice driving the team on. Declan Rice getting Arsenal back in the game at Stamford Bridge. Declan Rice hitting the bar yesterday. Declan Rice, a gladiator in every single game that he's played for Arsenal. I don't think there's a Liverpool... I think Liverpool have a lot of standout players. Yeah, yeah. But for the beginning, beginning stage of the season, Sabozla has shone. McAllister. McAllister has shone more recently. Yep. I mean, there are always there are always uh, moments where you can admire Trent Alexander-Arnold's form. Virgil van Dijk is obviously one of the best defenders in the world at the moment. Mohamed Salah is one of the most, one of the most reliable, guaranteed goal scorers that the Premier League has ever seen. But they're all great. They're all great. Mm. So I, It's very spread, isn't it? The Liverpool side is very, very spread. Yeah. It's a very even situation. And the way they're going about things is is very, very good. If they win today, if they win today, it's absolutely huge. Let us know in the comments down below. Give us some score predictions. Obviously, we're live for the game very, very soon. It starts. I'm gassed. And if City win, it'll be the second win in Guardiola's managerial career at Anfield. Can you believe that? He's been there eight years, mate. I, I saw a stat that City have won once in 30 or something like that. Is that it's, one in eight, it's one in 18 years. One in 18 yeah. years. Yeah, I'll give, you, I'll give you one of these 20 quid notes. Give me one of the scorers from the, the win okay, it's a great before game. 2021. That's the last time we won 4-1. Okay, so 18 years ago. So this is 2003, 2004 okay, I'm going to go with Antoine Sibierski. No, as if he'd scored. Well, this was your money. This okay. was the, the Super 6 rollover okay, money. Okay, okay, so wait, can I have three can't... guesses? Three, yeah, fine. 2003. Fine. Ish, uh, it might be okay. four, but it's three, three or four. So, so not Sibia. Is it that era? Is it? Is it the Benjani? No, it's it's way earlier than that. Okay, earlier, earlier than, than earlier than Benjani. Oh three. Who's playing? Was Anelka there? Yeah, it's Anelka. Yes, Nicholas Anelka. Huge, huge player. Um, We've got some predictions there. 1-0, 4-0 City, 2-1 Liverpool. Uh, obviously, if you're in the business of making football predictions. Do it on Super 6. You're supporting the club uh, and you could win £750,000. That is true. Boovy, oh. Boovy, what is your prediction for today, please? I'm going 3 0 Liverpool. I've, that's <laughs> that's what I'm, no, not I'm doing. Your no, it is Roars. That's not your prediction. It is. That is not your prediction. It is, mate. What, what do you want me to do? I want you to tell me your prediction. 3 uh, 0 Liverpool. Uh, okay. It, uh, what did you do on Super 6? On Super 6, I did 1 1. One, oh, it's boring, mate. For God's well, sake. I, I, I'm, I'm not trying you're to in the entertain. Business, you're in the business of entertaining no, but, football fans around pre- the world. But my predictions, I'm trying to win money. I'm not trying to entertain anyone. My prediction is that the game finishes all square and Arsenal laugh all oh. the way to the Premier League title. Arsenal? Yeah, but well, you, need I mean, it, you need it for your predictions, I mean, don't you? Th- they'll, be, they'll be massively laughing today if this ends up the way that it... Look, if, if this is a draw, Mikel Arteta's dreams have come true. I think, like we, Gabriel. I think we need it to be... I think a City win... It was a bit like watching the Arsenal game yesterday. I thought if the, if the, if Arsenal's title hopes end at Brentford at home, then that is not great for the Premier League. I think the Premier League needs a dramatic end to the season. I've I've actually predicted uh, all the games. Uh, I did a little video on my channel. We'll be doing it on the club, I think, a little video predicting all the games for, for what, 10 games left for each side after this? What, so you go through every fixture? And I went through it. every game. I got, I got slagged now, up, so I did the math done, wrong. Now but, you've uh, done that. Yeah, yeah you, you're not. You're not switched on. I'm you're not, not, you're did, not sharp. I did a whole video saying, "Oh, they're going to win this." this, this. All the comments were like, "Mate, you can't you've even got, do you've math. Got math wrong." Right. Honestly, yeah, they're going to get three points here, three points there, three <laughs> points there. They're going to win those three games, and they're going to end up with ten points. <laughs> <laughs> 
But we'll do it on our channel. Tell, tell me, huge. Now you've now you've actually done this. You've got a bit of a track record. Have can you can you answer this question in, in just one team, or is it more complex? Does any one of the three, in your opinion, obviously have a harder set of fixtures? I, I honestly don't think there is a harder set of fixtures for any side. I really don't believe that there is. I think I think there are a couple of banana skins based... You know, like every club's got their own little tricky t- yeah. fixture. For, for City fans, it's Spurs. We still yeah. have to go to Spurs in the league, which is hard. We only had our first win there yeah, in the new Spurs stadium well. yeah. ever. So that could be one for us. I think... Uh, uh, I think Liverpool got Spurs as well, which could be always be tricky. They look mm. fantastic against Villa today. Of what, course. what about so? So can can you say if 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 I force you to say from your from your research, th- who has the easiest? Who has the hardest? Honestly, it's spread. There isn't thin on my life. On my life, it's spread so thin. Arsenal have to go. I know that Arsenal have to go to Man City. They have to go to Manchester United. If you see that as difficult, Not Arsenal anymore. also Arsenal also play Tottenham. Yeah, yeah. Which is yeah. even harder for that, them. And that, than that's it is their you. big one, I think. I think Spurs have got a huge role to play in this title race, which is a bit embarrassing, really. But um, that's <laughs> the way it goes. But I think there's a, a world where all three sides finish within a point of each other and it goes to goal difference. Without Adam, this is just two morons with a mic. It's Why e- read that one out? It's not even a super chat. I just quite liked it. <laughs> <laughs> um, there is a super chat, however, Boovy, and I think it's for you. Another goal for Werner. One closer to Rory shaving that head, as he said on his channel. That didn't happen. No, I never would say I shave. The, the bet that I had, not shaving my head. The bet that I had. The thing is, you know games like that. Like, shave your head. But you did say that, right? Shave your eyebrows. No, I didn't. The reason I can't do that, like, you could do it. I can't do it because I have to like take my kids to school and stuff. So I can't be at the games. Why, 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 why can I do it? Because you don't have to take your kids to school. You don't have to go around and yeah, but, no, but have you to don't walk have around to do, London. You don't have to do... Oh, like real adult stuff. stuff. Yeah, adult proper stuff. stuff. Yeah, that's like, interesting. I can't meet my kid's teacher with no hair <laughs> or with no eyebrow. I shave my eyebrows off. Hello. Yeah, but what if your kid's teacher is a Man City fan and you said that Harlem scored less than 15 goals in a Premier League season? <laughs> I don't think my kid's teacher. I've met Wait. her a few times. She's she's never brought up the Harlem shout. She's never, not yet, anyway. The night is young. But you could do it. <laughs> no, the, the bet that I've had, I have had a bet. I said that he will score four or less. So he's got... He's, I went he's nine, got didn't I? Oh. He's got 10 games to score one. I think he's got more than so that, Rashford. So the odds are with me. Has he not got more than Rashford? Before, uh, let's just take away the penalty because he got given the penalty as a bit of a... Uh, what's the word? Uh, a handout. It was a handout penalty for Rashford against Everton. Um, and he stat padding. There's no uh, question well, but, about but it. But I think Werner's doing that. Like, so Timo Werner today has scored the fourth goal in a 4-0 win. Like that's not, very Werner, in, 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 the, very Werner. In, the, in the 94th minute yeah, when the team are 3-0 down very, at very home Werner. and the stand's empty like yeah, you know yeah. that's, not, that's not the big game player is it it What's basically makes Villa? me right I love it I actually love it a little bit I'm a bit I'm a bit disappointed do you know, do you know what it is though you know Arsenal fans and I've always called them wrong you know when Arsenal fans talk about Unai Emery I feel like they're often very harsh and very snide about Emery and Emery's contribution everything that they said about him is coming true in the way that Villa have tailed off and capitulated. Everything that Arsenal fans have said about Emery, they always said, he's a good manager up to a point, he's a good manager for a particular club, he's good at certain things, but what he isn't is that guy. Yeah, He isn't capable of X, Y, and Z. And they've always said that, and I've always thought it was wrong, and now his team are capitulating, which is exactly what Arsenal fans have been saying would happen. Yeah, they went too early, maybe. Sometimes, I'd rather be a few points off in a Premier League top four race, top five race. I'd rather be a few points off in December with momentum in April, May. That makes sense. Yeah, of course. I'd rather finish strong. Of course, of course. But, well, because that's when, that's when it matters. Like, if you are picking up, but you know Arsenal, unbeaten, won every single game, won nine in a row since the turn of the year. That is why they are capable. Danny Ings is in a film. I just saw it. That must be a different Danny Ings. What? There is an there is an actor called Danny Ings. There must be. There must be. It's like Joe Cole. There's an actor called Joe Cole. Yeah, I've seen, I, I know. I saw him at the young bit recently. Yeah, yeah, very, yeah. very good. Yeah. I, I know he's in Gangs of London. Yeah, yeah. superb. Yeah, and, terrible uh, series. Dreadful The series. first season was great. Dreadful. Nah, the first season. You watched first season? No, I did. Yeah, where they came on the hang the bloke. I watched the first episode. I was like, I can't watch this anymore. Mate, it's like, really good. Juvenile. They blew up they blew up a, a tower in, in Canary Wharf. I thought, oh, God. What? Did they? In the, in the end of the first year. Have you seen a one. film? I saw, I saw, have you ever seen, I think it's called Incendiary or something like that. And it's the Emirates. Oh, they blow that up. They blow it up, yeah. Oh. 
It's like a terrible film. I've got this ability to watch really bad films. You can get through it. I can't. I, no, I no, can I'm just off. saying. I, I had to turn no, you've got a good quality off. of like, if something comes on the TV, I think you'll just watch it. I think you'll commit. All right, I'm watching a movie. I don't care if it's bad or, if or I go bad. To, if, if I commit to watching a film, I will probably finish that film. Yeah. But yeah. what I won't commit is a series. If I, I put can. a series on, I'm out. I can't. And I had more. Gangs of London on. I did one. Out. Out. Yeah, you watched Neil by Mouth yet? Mate, no. If you say no, I hate you. I've only, I will I've only hate. One movie just for the record, so I weeks. hate this guy. I, no, <laughs> I, I've been begging him to watch a film. Not I, only I will it be, it, not it's only my will life, it be great, my life. It will be great for our friendship, but it'll be great for the show. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. really will. It's a yeah. brilliant, culturally rich film called Nil by Mouth. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's Gary Oldman's only directorial uh, directorial film. I need you to watch it. I need you to watch it, and nobody's watching. He was at Old Trafford yesterday, wasn't he? Uh, Gary He's a Man United fan. Yeah, 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 yeah. From South London. Yeah, his uh, sister's in EastEnders. Yeah, Little Mo. Little Mo. Little Mo, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. Um, but yeah, yeah I will be watching that movie. There's another super chat here. Yes, lads. Can I make you some custom trainers for the studio? I'm a huge fan of the show. Now, can I make this possible up the Reds? What Reds does he think he means? Is he a Manchester United fan? Arsenal fan? Tottenham? No. Man, as, who is he? Up the Reds. That's Liverpool. Is it? Yeah, it must be. Yeah, I'm size 12. Uh, so if it costs more material... You're size 12? Yeah, it... What can I say? Wait, do you live under a bridge? Do you know what they say about guys with big feet? Huge shoes. Yeah, the film, hundred <laughs> uh, percent. But I've got big feet, so if it needs, if it, if it costs you more material, Mate, your shoes, I'm not paying your for shoes that. Shoes are literally double my shoes. I, mean, I can't get anything on the market, honestly. Nothing. Mate, I Clark, can basically Clark's, buy kids. Honestly, Clark's <laughs> don't do anything for me. Clark's me prefer. Honestly. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, he wants to make you some shoes. Oh, wait, yeah, what's he want to make us? Trainers? Yeah, make make boo make us some trainers, mate. Make some clogs for uh, for Rory. They're not called clogs. I Amsterdam. thought they were called clogs. They're not called clogs. What they're clogs? Called, they're called. No, I they have call to buy my clogs. wife some at Christmas. I keep calling them clogs, but they called something like clogs. I can't remember now. But they're like <laughs> see through trainers. Yeah, the Dutch wear clogs, don't they? The Dutch wear. Yeah, they live yeah, in windmills and wear clogs. Is yeah, the yeah. like stereotype. Yeah, yeah. Drink Heineken. Heineken, not, not Heineken. I think so. I've not heard of Heineken. That's not, Heineken. That's a trope that you might have in your household, like the Dutch, <laughs> but I don't have it in mine. Drink the Dutch. Uh, drink Heineken. Heineken, Heineken is Dutch. I've actually think, more I think about it, I don't hold any stereotypes about anyone. You started okay? bringing up clogs about I'm, Dutch people. No, I just said clogs is a type of shoe. No, you said Dutch people wear clogs. You said I, don't any, I don't have any stereotypes. No, do, do, you, know, do, you, know, do you know, I remember walking through Schiphol Airport. Do you know what I took from the Dutch? Their tallness. Oh, huge people. They are tall. Yeah, they yeah, are yeah. tall beyond belief. Yeah, yeah. I get like, I'm small yeah. at the best of times, right? Yeah. But over there, I was just like, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm all right here. Like, it's crazy. They yeah, are the yeah. tallest people in the world. Yeah. yeah the, they, they, call, they call you shorty. Shorty, swing my way. They shorty. say to you. Shorty looks good to me. Beautiful. Now, would you please swing it my way? <laughs> <laughs> There's another super chat, thankfully. It says, love the club, fellas. Love the club, fellas. What would be your five-a-side team choice from this Liverpool Man City current eleven? Easy, easy. Keeper is theirs. No, but a, he said five-a-side. Five-a-side. Edison in goal for five-a-side. Well, because of the feet. So you can come out and play in midfield because of the feet. You're not allowed out your D in five-a-side. Well, no, it depends what version you play. Traditional five-a-side. Not, not allowed out your D. Man. No, no, no. You're not allowed. This out is your another D. stereotype of yours. Traditional five five a sides. You're not allowed out no, your no, D. No, I play progressive five a side. You can do anything you want. <laughs> the, the Edison has to be in goal for distribution. No, five a side. So in, important. Allison is in, no, Allison man. is the goalkeeper. You get Allison for your Sunday league side. No, you get Allison. No, he's you a traditional get Allison for your stopper. Sunday. No, Allison Edison. is the goal. No, Allison is the oh. goalkeeper. There is no world in which there is no metric where Edison is better than Allison at anything. No, it doesn't exist. Trust me. With his feet, he's better than his feet. Not by enough. You don't think? Not by enough. Not by enough. Okay. Allison is the goalkeeper. Johnstone centre back. Ball play. We have to have ball players. We have to have ball players. So far, you're being very city heavy. Yeah, it's just, it's just. I think the city side would be better at five side than Liverpool. I think Liverpool would be better at running okay. the ten thousand meters at the Olympics. So, so tell me your team, and then I'm going to Edison, Johnstone in midfield, De Bruyne, and then I have Phil Foden and Salah. Can you count? What do you want about? Edison, Stones, De Bruyne, Foden, Salah. Yeah, just checking because I heard that you were bad at maths on your own channel. I just wanted to double check. And, <laughs> and your defensive reaction suggested I was right. You got it wrong by asking me in the first <laughs> no, place. I mean, I'm allowed five. to ask you questions. I, I think in terms of like, I think Bernardo Silva has to be in. Bernardo yeah, yeah. Silva in a five-a-side team. Mate, Bernardo Silva's ball, like the way that he looks after the ball. Yeah. He's Salah wizardry. Bernardo Silva is in. Bernardo Silva is in this five-a-side team. Bernardo Silva's better than De Bruyne at five-a-side. Is he? 
De Bruyne has to be in a five-a-side. No, side. but who's, who's a better five-a-side footballer? De Bruyne or Silva? De Bruyne. Do you reckon? Yeah. Silva on the ball, man. You can't, can't both. tackle him. Obviously can't you tackle can have him. Both. You could. You could. I think. You could but then I think Phil Foden's got to be in. Phil Foden's got to be in a five-a-side team. Uh, Phil Foden. Let's have all of them then. What's the issue? Rahul says, Mbappe. Oh, is this a different game? I think he's playing a different game. Love your show, big fan. Raul, thank you very much. He says, Mbappe, Alfonso Davis. Mate, can you read that? Oh, I on. can't read it. There's a lot of writing there. He says, love your show, big fan. Looking very scary. Could they do another three Champions Leagues in a row? Oh, he's talking about, he must be talking about Real Madrid, right? Can Real Madrid do another three? You can never predict that. If you do, you're, Why you're is a madman. Mbappe, is Mbappe officially going to Real Madrid? He's just put yeah, him he is, in there. He is. is it official? He's, yeah, he's, he's I, acknowledged yeah. it. It's a pre-contract agreement, isn't it? Is that right? It's one of those boring transfer sagas I've ever heard in my life. Yeah. Um, player of the season can only be Watkins or De... Rodri. Rodri. What do you mean De Bruyne? How have you read De Bruyne? The, oh, yeah. I can't see from there. Oh, brother, you you right? know, we've been doing this club now for over right? a year. I can can't only, see the screen. Player of the season can only be Rodri or Watkins. But it looked player like of the De Bruyne. season can only be De Bruyne. All right, all right. Player of the season can only be De Bruyne. Uh, not Watkins, not for me. Not if Watkins, they, come not, on. Only Watkins grip. player of the season. Of course not. He's not even a top five. Yeah, I think he's boring, man. Of course not. He's a, he's a Western Supermare legend. Do you know that? He's played for Western Supermare. Is FC, he? Yeah. Western Supermare, man. Have you ever been good to Western Supermare? Good circus there. Is it? Very good. Wow. Very good. Uh, should we do the lineups? I know someone who ran off to join the circus <laughs> at Western Supermare. I do, honestly. No way. He, ran, <laughs> he, he left home. He left home when he was 15. <laughs> And joined a circus in Western Supermare. Started juggling and shit. <laughs> I swear. That's what he did. That His mum was like, I can't buy my son. I can't How buy... do you know that is such a you thing, man? How do you know someone that joined the circus? He ran off. He left home. That, you know that alone is a trope, isn't it? It's a, tro- it's a stereotype. <laughs> he ran off to join a yeah, circus. Yeah. Yeah. And then he actually has yeah, no, no, Western like... Supermare. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a very famous actor now. Wow. I don't even know circuses were a thing these days. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah, I'll take my kid to the circus. Is it fun? Uh, if you like circuses, I imagine it's amazing. I find circuses fairly weird. Yeah, I, I think they're a bit outdated in the modern but, but era. Do you, know, do you know what? I do think that the, what the skills that people employ at a circus is amazing. Yeah. You know, they start doing those mad bouncing the balls like that. Madness, like, got, got 10 balls all bouncing at the same time. Madness. Yeah, it's clever. Tightrope and all that. Um, should we do the You'd city? Get you on a tightrope. I'll probably man. get eaten by a tiger or something. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, they're not allowed animals anymore. They're not allowed no, animal cruelty. Oh, Harvey Elliott's starting. Yeah, should we read out the the 11? I'll go with the City side first. We've got Edison in goal, Akanji, Carl Walker, and Nathan Ake in a back three. Why are you reading the City team out first when we're when it's in Liverpool? No, have the, a bit of respect. You do the, city, you do the away side first out of respect for leaving the home uh, side second. literally not with Rodri, John Stones, Phil Foden, Bernardo Silva, De Bruyne, Alvarez, and Harlan. So Alvarez <laughs> might be playing as a left winger tucked inside, which is very interesting. And then the Liverpool side, this is huge. Kelleher in goal. Um, we've got Connor Bradley, Quanza, Van Dyke, Joe Gomez with Sabozlai, who makes a start huge for them. Endo McAllister, Diaz, Nunes, Harvey Elliott. So Salah isn't quite fit enough. I think there's an opportunity for him to come off the bench, if I'm not mistaken. Um, that is massive for Liverpool. When you look at this, these teams, player for player, and I know that it's not like that, particularly with Klopp's Liverpool. What Klopp does to the team is essentially, like, it's, it's essentially brilliant. But when you look player for player, City is so much stronger. Yeah, I, I think so. But like, I think look at that midfield: De Bruyne, De Bruyne, Bernardo Silva, Rodri. Foden as well. Touch in there, like as well. mate, you unbelievable. Know, like that is that is truly, truly elite. But do you know how many times I've said that as a City fan and Liverpool would end up beating because Klopp's a genius. He is, a genius. and we have to look at some of the history of, of the last few weeks of City. Chelsea exposed us in, in big moments. We've been exposed recently. We haven't got the best defensive record in the league. Arsenal have that by a country mile before Aaron Ramsdale started last night, um, and. Uh, I think Liverpool can definitely find a way of exposing City at this game, especially at Anfield. Mm. The record's so bad, Rory. So bad. But if City go... It'd be one of the biggest wins we've had in many, many years. Yes. I'm lucky enough to say it. We've done it against Real Madrid, against Inter Milan. Huge games. Man United in the FA Cup final. This is serious. City have spun them round, look. City have spun them round. Yeah. Get them... So where are we shooting? We're shooting so you're towards... shooting towards your... More importantly, though... Our fans first More, in, more importantly... Liverpool are not shooting to the cop second half. Mm. That's what that's, that's what big. Man City have changed. That's upset huge. the rhythm, upset the equilibrium. The equilibrium's off must be the lithium. I don't think it never matters in these games except no, this it one. It does. Uh, if it was at shoot Stamford towards Bridge, your, shoot towards your main end second half. Well, if it's Stamford Bridge you know, or Old you know, Trafford, you know, I don't think it matters. Do you know why it matters? If if not even for the holistic, the passionate reasons, if not for that, it matters because you upset the rhythm. Liverpool, yeah, yeah. Liverpool, that's youth, what I'm saying. it matters in this game. 
for City out of everything, yeah. every club. But but basically, in the second half, when this game will be won or lost, Liverpool are going to be shooting towards the City fans. Yeah. yeah. Rather than having the cop roar in them on or whatever. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, we're going to smash these lot now. Here Come on, I'm back in. Mate, Come on. Sure, by the way, that you join our Super 6 Mini League. Super 6 is a wonderful game. It is completely free for you to play. All you need to do is download the Super 6 app. Won't cost you a penny. And if you predict six scores correctly, you will win an awful lot of money. Boovy, you're my beautiful assistant. Show them the money. Ooh. Be Jerry Maguire. Show them Look that money. Look at that. 750 grand could be yours for predicting some football scores. And you're helping Rory, Adam and myself out by joining our mini league. It's Club 23 on the app. So make sure you download it. It's a huge opportunity. 750 grand. That doesn't come around often on Super 6. It's a huge rollover. So make sure you download the app and get involved huge. We've just kicked off and Liverpool already smashing the ball long, trying to put City <laughs> under pressure. No, not in a bad way. I think, I think their tactic this game is over the top for Nunes and Diaz. What pace they've got. I think Harvey Elliott will tuck into midfield and try and link things up as well. And they'll try and get Salah on to score a goal in the, in the final 15 minutes. Bernardo like Silva, fan. just look at him pressing. Just look huge, at him running. Huge. Unbelievable footballer, Bernardo Silva, I'm telling you. This has got the making. You can't be, be offside classic. there, Darwin Nunes. You cannot be offside when you are one foot into the opposition half and you are looking along the line with the same view as the linesman. Like, those tiny little things make such a difference. You give them possession away. One minute into the game, this is this is what it's all about, isn't it? These are the kind of games that we that we live for. It's huge. This is what we are inspired by. Yeah, absolutely massive. And there's been a bit of uh, build up. You see much? Oh, what a pass, Rodri! Oh wow, go on. Oh my god, De Bruyne has got lots of time here. Foden. Foden. Oh, Uh, gosh. Foden's touch was just a. It was a little bit. Yeah, he um, showed too much of the ball, didn't he? Yeah, I mean, it was a little bit easy to to read as well, which isn't. <sighs> is very much not like Phil Foden. When you think about everything that Phil Foden does, he's so graceful, isn't it? It's inside, outside, left foot, right foot. Yeah. Terrible to defend against a player like that. You know, when they can go either way, so daunting. He could have hit the ball first time, even arguably, if it was on his left foot, he does that. I think. Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, he does. On his right, it's hard, but we I could have been one up. We I'm could surprised, have a good I'm surprised, I'm surprised that Foden, you know, you know, at that stage of the game, do you know what I think your responsibility is? Oh, it's a minute this. into the game. Just get flick your shot off. Flick it, if flick he can it, flick, flick it, it, give it. Oh my God. Go oh my God. Alvarez, City. Alvarez. Oh. Oi. Well held, Kelleher. Well <laughs> held, Kelleher. <laughs> Two minutes in, man. Come this on. This is what it's about, isn't it? This is football. This is Premier League. This is the dream. Oh, stop it with that touch, Bernardo Silva. That ball's Stop slightly it, ahead of him. Alvarez could have hit that first time as well. Bernardo. Bernardo. It's one of the great wins of Guardiola's career if we can do it this season. We've never beaten them at Anfield with a full stadium. Is this sad in a way that it's it's Klopp versus Guardiola when you think about their rivalry in Germany, when you think about what happened with you know, Munich Dortmund, that then came over to this country, started here, Liverpool, Man City. This is possibly the last ever... Klopp versus Guardiola. Yeah. Sad day for football. It's a sad day for the Premier League as well as an advertisement for what the league's all about. We won't get this quality again. It takes, football goes up and down, doesn't it? It takes a while to build back up and we haven't got a manager that can come into the Premier League and compete with Guardiola whilst he's still there. No. You know, who, who's who's next? De Zerbi? Really? Do you I, I mean, feel, it's not, is it? Do you think like, De Zerbi's overrated? Did you see what happened to them at Roma? Did you see what happened to... Bar- smash, didn't they? Mate. Got, got taught a lesson. I, I don't understand with, with regards to De Zerbi. You know, you know other managers... We, we, we opinions on them change. You know, when things are going well, you call them good. When things are, are going badly, you you know, when David Moyes was brilliant at Everton, we kind of acknowledged that they were doing very well. And now people are saying that he needs to be sacked at West Ham. I don't understand with De Zerbi, regardless of performance or results or form or anything, people are just like, he he's the best manager in the league outside the top, whoever. I think he's got fantastic ceiling. Managers are hard, on It's hard, man. Oh, it's touch it's, Foden. Go on, De Bruyne. City have started oh, like a he's house floated the ball fire. over. Second wave though. It's obviously early in the game, but Liverpool have not Mate, got you, any you're foot, all over foot on the board. You're all, you are all over them. That's a good ball. If Look the at Bruyne that. Bruyne fires that back. Did, did, did Gomez touch that? that? No, 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 no. Mate, this is an electrifying Ooh. start from Manchester City. Pulsating. I game. love Alvarez on the left. That's beautiful. Can tuck in on his right foot. Oh, Guardiola! Absolutely beautiful. Make sure you like the stream, lads, and obviously subscribe to the we channel if you're likes. brand new. I'm checking. Boom. Let's, let's see if like that has an impact. Stream. So there are currently 307 likes. You've asked. Let's see if you get any new people. How many likes? 308. So you've got one. Get us up to a thousand likes. And mate, I will, you can't make. I will mate, make mate, Rory mate, 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 mate. showered in in money. Mate, no, I'll no, shower no. Don't Rory ask money. For a thousand likes. Like you've got thousand. obtainable goals. You're not yeah, going to get. You've got to aim for the stars. You're, you're not going to. You're not going to get. Rory, you've got to aim for the likes. stars. So if you. 
fall, you land on a cloud. No, mate, it's it's aim for the moon so that if you miss, you you get a star, isn't it? What are you on about, man? Yeah. It's aim for the aim for the sky. No, what is it? Aim for no, the what stars. Is, there is a saying: aim here. for the stars, and if you fall, you land on a cloud. No, it's about it the moon. Let us know in the comments. I'm I'm spot on. Reach as for per the usual. stars. Follow your reach heart's for the stars. Desire. S Club Seven. That, no, it's reach for the stars. Follow You're your heart's desire. You're S Club Seven during the biggest game of the season. Fuck, you know. Reach for the stars. I, I want a thousand likes oh, yeah, and I will shower that. Rory in 20 quid notes. These are my 20 quid notes as well. Well, a few Super 6, but mostly mine. Uh, th this goes all over Rory if we get a they thousand want you, likes. Boovy, they want you to be topless and I make it rain on you. We can do that. <laughs> Boovy, take your top <laughs> Don't off. Don't use my joke against you. No, Boovy, you they, have to they, be they're, covered they're in money. Joke. Okay. Boovy, take your top off. No, I'm not doing that. Why, man? If we're in 4 0, I'll Get the ladies it. tuning in. <laughs> we have 99% women on this channel anyway, don't we? <laughs> Our demographic. <laughs> No, no, it's not, is it? Unfortunately, no, no sadly no. not. Um, <sighs> all Man City so far, and Liverpool don't have that outboard at the moment, but I'm sure they'll they'll find it. <laughs> but I think they're struggling with the the press, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Liverpool don't have that outboard at the moment. They don't, but do they? They'll the, probably find it. They don't at the moment. They're struggling. He doesn't know what the offside rule is. Nunes is getting caught up a little. It's early in the game, but the outboard for Liverpool isn't quite there yet. Okay, that's not good. That's Good challenge, very well run there, Rodri. Rodri. There was a, there was a moment in the game uh, when City won the. Remember we uh, won the league against Aston Villa last game of the season. Mm. Coutinho and all that scored. There's a moment in this game. I think we draw it at Liverpool. Rodri clears the ball off a line with a huge tackle. Yeah. His tackle's so big it clears the ball away. And did, and that, did you that score a, off the back of the clear? I think we kept it at a draw. And if they'd won the game, they would have won the league that oh. season. So that's how. And John Stones had a similar incident at the Etihad two-one win. Uh, the 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 closeness between the two sides, I don't think we've ever seen anything like it. Really, you can obviously say Arsenal, Man United, Chelsea, Man United uh, in the last twenty years, but I think the standard of these games is higher than those of those, in my opinion. Movie, the likes just shot up when they mentioned that you were going to go topless. No, seriously. it can't be. It must be the first no, thing I said that I, I I came originally with an no, idea. No, no, Boovy, I'm serious. I, sh I shower you with money. No, I'll shower you with kisses, right? <laughs> but but I did honestly see a huge. I did honestly see a huge... Um, what are we on now, lads? 529, but it really did rock it when they spoke about you five going two top. 529. 529 likes. Wow. Do I'm going to like it as well. Get us close. You, what, light your own stream. It's a bit... You don't do that? No, nah, it's a bit conceited, don't you think? Conceited, you think? Don't you think? No, I don't think so, mate. What, you, oh, you go, Boovy, Boovy. Stop liking your own stream. There you go. <laughs> Alvarez. Go on. Bad. Oh, my God! Oh, oh, Kevin De Bruyne, you wouldn't believe what he just tried. The audacious chip with the left foot into the far corner. It was a cross into the back post, wasn't it? I think, I think he made a pig's ear of it. Yeah, much. it was one of those um, half shot, half cross sort of thing. Mate, lovely, lovely move. Alvarez waits for the overlapping run from De Bruyne. De Bruyne, I think he's actually looking for Foden. He's got it wrong. <sighs> yeah, I agree. De Bruyne's yeah. looking for Foden. He's gone for the chip, spooned it. So he's yeah, ended up nearly <laughs> lobbing Kelleher. Oh, he's good enough to have scored that, you know. Go on. Oh. What is going on? Where are Liverpool? Why are they Liverpool can't get so... a foot on the on the ball, mate? Manchester City have started That's this game. That's, That's not a foul. Not a foul. That's not a foul. That's not a foul. How was that a foul? That was unbelievable. Oh, jeez, that really was unbelievable. Let's have a look at this. Rodri wins it, so he can't get their foot on anything now. One two round, Endo. That's a good Beautiful hit. Parried strike. away from Kelleher. He's good at that, Kelleher. Do you know? Do you know what I rate about him and his shot stopping? doesn't try you know as a this isn't only as a footballer right this is as a person know your limitations in life yeah Kelleher if it's if it's pinged at him he just gets rid of it save yeah, it simple key doesn't try and catch it doesn't do anything beyond him just yeah. get rid of it yeah try and parry it into a less dangerous zone yeah just keep it basic that's what I do on streams like this oh I keep it stop basic. it Foden do you see Phil what Foden, Foden just, just did to Gomez Foden just killed Joe Gomez there's a bit of a rivalry there as well. Sterling and Joe Gomez when he was at City, uh, Raheem Sterling. Oh yeah, they had, a fight. Well, they had a fight with England, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, and then who Sterling to... got a, a game banned and he got sort of taken out of the squad for a game. And somebody had to sort it out. I can't remember who it was. There was like a mediator. I can't remember. Yeah, Sterling versus Joe Gomez. Is he a picked him up in a game once and he sort of threw him around Sterling. <laughs> he hated that Sterling. What, he did he? Yeah, is he that what it was? I hated it, yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> Corner for Man City. Now we've had about four chances. Like four shots on goal. That's a great ball. That is a fantastic... Liverpool need to be really careful here. Although, saying that, this very... Oh, if they hit us now. Bernardo Silva on Darwin. Yeah! <laughs> That's it, mate. New Year's got bullied by Bernardo Silva. I think, I Beautiful. think Bernardo Silva, you know how much I love him, but I think he got a bit lucky there. 
I think Darwin Nunes misjudged the bounce of the ball. Did he? Yeah. yeah. I, I thought he just shouldn't just sort of used think, his weight think, against him. I think him. he misjudged the bounce, which yeah. dangerous. The girl oh, is bad. All over these. The girl lockdown. is dangerous. All over these. You are all over them. Do you know what the problem is, though, Booby? You're 10 minutes into the game, been 80% City, more in fact, it's been all City on the attack, scores nil-nil. You know how this is, you know what's going to happen. You're not going to take your chances. This has got a 1-0 Liverpool win written all over it. No, I don't know. I don't know about that. Mate. Well, I put it to 3-0 my Super 6, so maybe that isn't the worst shot in the world. Um... Any super chats? Any anyone? What's everyone thinking about the game? So, mate, far? don't don't beg for money. Don't beg for money. No, just do it for free. No, you can't do a free super chat. No? Well, no, I don't know. I've never actually given a super chat, mate. Well, the, oh God, what you don't support your fellow community? I don't know who, who who's who goes live that I would want. He's to a support. called you a FIFA virgin. <laughs> That's all I'm reading. FIFA, FIFA vir- virgin. Bo- look, There's Boovie, a show on Copper Bo- Night called that. Do you Mr. remember that? Cash. Booby is, a, used to be on that is show. a FIFA virgin. Maya Jammy used to be on that show. What FIFA virgin? Yeah, it was on Copper Ninety. The 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 premise. This is Maya Jammer early in her career. Copper had to send her on uh, sort of challenges to find her side because she was a you know football virgin. She was like new to football. So uh, I think she's a Crystal Palace. Fan. No, she's not. No, the side she she at the end of that series she pledged a loyalty to a club Who? that I despise. Bristol Rovers. Yeah, the gas. The gas. The gas. Yeah. gas. Maya Jammer Brist- is a gas Bristol head. Rovers. The gas. How bad is that? Maya Jammer is a gas head. Yeah. Is that what they're called? Yeah, gas heads. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Likes his own videos and never does a super chat. Scroogey McBoogey. <laughs> <laughs> Have you got it to a thousand likes yet? I don't know. We're waiting, lads. Hang on, I'll tell you. Give the stream Will, are we on a thousand like. likes? 600. 600. You're crap at getting likes. What do you mean? I just you just said I got them boosted when I said something about showering you in twenty quid notes. No, when you said you were going to take your top off, but then you <laughs> went back on it. Go on, ball in. Oh my god, oh, that the was the ball there Very, we're very wasteful with the Bruyne. That was well, yeah, but you have got to risk it, haven't you? Only four hundred yeah. likes left till Boovy gets topless. If if you score and we get a thousand likes, no, you I have to take nil. it off and wave it around your head. I said four nil. You know, like that Newcastle fan who's got NUFC tattooed on his tummy. Oh Jesus, yeah, you yeah. have to you have to do that. Uh, 58% possession for City in this game. We've been all over these lot, but they're getting there. They're getting a little bit on the ball now. We do have a super chat, by the way. It's from Sam Dixon, who says, Ben White needs to go to the Euros, surely. Sometimes in football, the the footballing... It's going to go really existential here. No, ben, White needs to go to the, ben, no. ben White needs to go to the Euros? Yeah, but, well, sometimes in football. No, but sometimes in football, an argument is smaller than what you're trying to achieve. Do you know what I'm trying to say? You have to bring players back into the fold. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, you know? I agree. I, I, look, Ben White does need to go to the Euros. I think Ben White has been so good that, in my opinion, he's been so good playing at right back that England should utilise him out of position. England should use him in a position that he hasn't played all season. That's how good I think he's been. I think he should start for England at centre-half alongside John Stones. But that doesn't happen. There is no way that happens. John, he, Stones, oh. John Stones and Ben White, oh. that was amazing, amazing work from Conor Bradley. That really was it's incredible work from Conor Bradley. Darwin Nunes is down holding his buttock and if this is an injury it could be really bad news because that could be the top of the hamstring couldn't it? Yeah, so that's another one for Beautiful Liverpool. pass there. Look at that. The control from Bradley. Look at the aggression. Twist, twist Ake inside out. Look at the aggression. That is for and such Darwin, a young kid. Oh, Darwin Nunes has Phil Babbed. He's Phil Babbed himself. Look, watch, 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 watch. Phil Babb. Bang. Oh. Lyrical blow to the jaw. He has... Oh my God, he's actually done the Phil Babb. Oh no, he hasn't. Oh. No, he hasn't. Phil Babb was... Not quite in between the yeah. legs, yeah. Who scored the goal when Phil Babb did that? God, what, what, who's, Phil, who's he playing for? Phil Babb was playing for Liverpool. It was at Anfield. It was at the other end though. It wasn't John Barnes. There. No, it was a... Phil Babb was trying to stop a goal going in that ultimately went in. Who scored the goal? For Liverpool, yeah? No. Phil Babb was Who playing Who was he playing against? He's playing against Chelsea. In oh, 1998. 98. Uh, Viali. No, it's not a bad guess. Pierre Luigi Casiraghi. Wow. Remember him? No, I don't know. Bro, we signed him. He was brilliant. And he broke his leg. Shaka Hislop broke his leg. We were playing West Ham. And he never played football again. God. That's heartbreaking, some of those stories. Like Adam Smith at Man United. Is that yeah. Adam Smith? Yeah. No, um, um, I know what you mean. Uh, oh, Smith. What's his name? Um, it's Adam Smith, isn't it? No, you're thinking of the bloke that United presents player. at... Uh... Smithy. <laughs> you're on his TikTok and all that. No, you are. On your, I've seen. I've seen you on his TikTok. Yeah, um, uh, Adam Smith. 
I don't know who you're talking about. Played for Leeds and went to Man United. The early Alan 2000s. Smith. Alan Smith. Alan Smith. God's sake. Yeah, that was at Anfield. Uh, do, you, do you know how his leg broke? Yeah, John Anariza. Yeah, that was at Anfield. Yeah, heartbreaking. Yeah, no, he was that, a talent. That, Alan, a talent. Alan Smith from Wakey. Yeah, he retired at Milton Keynes, I think. Yeah, Imagine from, that. from Wakefield, brilliant player at one point. Great player. Played, played in that Leeds team because I think Ferguson signed him and played him as a midfielder. But he was in that Leeds team that were very good. You know that oh, no. like Harry Kill team. Nunes. <gasps> Liverpool have come back into it the last five minutes, haven't they? The only saving grace for a City fan in this game is that you know Nunes needs about three to warm up. So if we can limit the first three, we'll be fine. Yeah. But he'll probably score a hat-trick after me yeah. saying that. Boovy, do you think that... Um, this is, by the way, this is from, from Link V23, who also has a number one next to his name. So he's never, ever been a part of this community before either. So thank you, Link. Thank you for joining. Welcome to the chat. Welcome to the channel. Please click subscribe. We are honoured to have you. Link says, does Joe Gomez go to the Euros? Boovy. <gasps> Joe, for me, Joe yeah, Nunes just does. missed. Uh, Nunes has missed another. Joe, Joe Nunes. <laughs> does, Joe go, does Joe Gomez go to the Euros? Full stop. Yeah. Darwin Nunes just missed the... S I think you need versatility players, don't you? Utility players. I think he's... You can play him anywhere. Left back, right back, centre back. I think you, you need him, don't you? Southgate needs all the help he can get. And, and Gomez is a serial winner. I don't think Gomez goes. What is the... Well, Eric Dyer used to take up a spot. He, he oh, I see. Go. Okay. You need, a, you need a utility player that can play everywhere. The trouble is there are a lot of very good players for England who are going to go and not play at all. Yeah, but you need... Uh, Joe Gomez would be happy to sit on the bench. I think... I think he'd go in and, and he'd be part of the setup and all that. Yeah, and, maybe then. Okay. Um, but it's okay. an interesting one because someone like Trent, for example, he's so incredible. Is he going to even get a minute at the Euros? Joe yeah, Gomez. Uh, sorry, Trent. You know, there's a, there's a few players that have, are having fantastic seasons that won't get any minutes. What about Trent Alexander like Arnold? Palmer. What about Trent Alexander Arnold? I don't think he gets any minutes at right back. No, I don't people saying play him in midfield. It's yeah. like, Does it, is not he... for me. Do you know how big this tournament is for Gareth Southgate? He needs stability. He, he can't, it can't be too new. Mm. Do you know? Do you know what? I've got a new, I've got a new outlook on life. I've adopted a uh, always sunny approach. I'm I'm a new man. Phil, Phil Foden. Foden on the attack. Phil Foden, hit it. Oh. Nah, nah, oh, nah, first nah, time. nah. Foot, go on, Alvarez. Foden. Oh, mate, hey, this game is fantastic. Oh, what a great, lovely game. touch from Harvey Elliott. Yeah. Lovely football, man. Lovely you, feet. Do you think he's looking at the England England plane to Germany? Elliot, Harvey Elliott. No, God no. You don't think he can get there in time? No, no, no. Because Liverpool fans would say no, but brother, who, Curtis who, Jones as well. No, no, Jones is a bit different. Yeah, Jones is a bit, bit different because he's more central. Yeah, and there is a place up for grabs. I don't think he goes. I don't think he gets it, Jones. But but Harvey Elliott, no, no. he's just not. It, who on earth are we leaving out to accommodate Harvey Elliott? Like I'm looking at it, Boovy, and I'm thinking Madison. Think about the season that he had when he was fit. Madison doesn't get in the England barely, team. But he goes, yeah. Doesn't yeah. get in the England. Well, yeah, he goes, but yeah, yeah. He yeah, doesn't start. Yeah. Like there's no minutes for Madison. I don't think. I think there are minutes. Definitely. Where? In those group games, 10 minutes to go, you're 1-0 up, hopefully, against uh, the likes of Serbia. I think I think there's minutes for him. But there's no... Not starting but, minutes. But there's no minutes for Grealish. Yeah, there is. He starts. He starts for me. People are putting Rashford you're, in their, you're, in their you're, 11. You're, like, giving, you're giving minutes, world are we living you're giving in? minutes to, to an awful lot of footballers here. There isn't going to be this many minutes to go around. <laughs> like, <laughs> no, there just isn't going to be. No, he starts left wing. Who does? Grealish. For me, in the group games, you play Foden, Bellingham, Rice, Grealish, Kane, Saka. No, no, no. Impossible. 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 Why? This is, that's just my 11 off. Oh, my God. Liverpool scored. Liverpool have not scored. Offside? Liverpool, offside. <laughs> Liverpool, Liverpool have not scored. Liverpool have not scored. Oh, I love it. That's beautiful. Gosh, that was incredibly easy. Oh. Man City's back line. You I told you. Man City's back line was either so sure that they had played the offside trap well. Yeah, good. Or it was static. Hang on. Do they stop? He's miles off. I think Ake stops. He's Ake's got off. his arm up. Look, Ake's miles off. Ake and Stone's new, I think. I told you. That's one more chance down. That's one down now. So no, he's it, got one more and he'll score. I mean, he's missed a lot already. Yeah. Yeah. But he will true. score too. He will score probably. He will score. The way it's going. Um, your England team though, Boovy, to go back to that, the, the, the six that you just said, midfield forwards, absolutely not. Impossible. Why? I'm not. I'm not. I'm not being rude about your team. No, right? I'm not. No, no. I'm not dismissing. I'm not saying absolutely not. I'm just thinking about the manager that we have. And no, he'll look to put Phillips in there if he can. I don't think it will be Phillips anymore. I just. Know, oh my god. Gallagher. Oh, turn. It could <laughs> be Gallagher. I think. I, th yeah, fuck off. I think it could be Gallagher. I think it could be. In terms of who plays midfield. Well played, Connor Bradley. Excellent play from Connor Bradley there. Really, really tenacious play. You know. 
Um, I think in terms of who it could be, Booth, it won't be it won't be Henderson anymore. It won't be it won't be Henderson, and it won't be um, Phillips. It might be Conor Gallagher. It might Why be. Why can't it be Foden? Because there will be a defensive-minded player there. What we're not going to do is have Rice, Bellingham, Foden. When you think about where Bellingham's playing at the moment, he's playing as a almost an invented position beyond a number ten. Where you think about what what Declan Rice is doing for for Arsenal. Okay, he's box to box and he does his fair share of defensive work. I know that, but he's also like a ruthless threat for a goal. He's scoring goals, he's dead balls. Uh, yeah, things, are brilliant. things, things. Uh, Fabregas had to be a false nine for. Uh, for Spain, you know, yeah, he, he, he didn't want to play false nine. You can't. You know, things happen in international football where you say we're not going to play. Need to we're be not defensive. Play. You, you, it's an attacking six. Manager, You're suggesting an attacking six. Not if not if you tell them to be defensively rigid and, and, and actually coach them to a high level. I refuse to believe that that Spain side. Look, I, I, I'm not. I'm not saying we're anywhere near the great Spain side that won three tournaments in a row. I'm not saying that. How did they compete with six midfielders? How they had Iniesta, Alonso, Busquets, Xavi. There's no, there's no pace or power there. They had to keep the ball. If our manager could just get a little bit more possession out of our, out of our side, be more ambitious. How is Phil Foden? Phil Foden's trusted by Guardiola in the Champions League final to run the game, mm. and we're going to sacrifice him for a, a guy running up and down against uh, for Ajax. His highlight reel, Ajax, is him running 80 kilometers to but, press a ball when okay, they won the line. Okay, just to, just to do. I'm not doing Southgate any favors here, but just to see it from his point of view. It's all very well to talk about an attacking six, but we don't know who our other centre half's going to be. So if even if you think that the attack should be there, even if you think the midfield should be there, even if you think we have enough mm. quality footballers to look after the ball, our Achilles heel is the other centre half alongside Stone. Of course, of course, yeah. So simply to protect that position, whoever that ends up being, it doesn't matter whether you think it should be Mark Gahey, it doesn't matter whether you think it should be Harry Maguire, whoever that is, that would be the position that the opposition are looking to exploit. But why can France play a 4 2 3 1? Why? They've got Varane at the back. I don't rate him. I don't rate him at the moment. He's not in good form. Mm. Look, and people will slag me off for the English the English bias. And Paul Merson came out yesterday and said the only two France players would get into the England side. I thought he was right. Some of that, yeah, exactly. I thought he was right. So how can France sit there and say, do you know what we're going to do? <laughs> we're going to sit Chu and Many as a, a DM by himself. Let, Griezmann is essentially very similar to Phil Foden in the role that he plays in that setup. How can, how can Deschamps, who's a limited manager at best, a successful one, but a limited manager at best, how can he trust one DM and let every, everything else flourish? Maybe he is. Maybe it's not about trusting his DM. Maybe he trusts his centre-halves more than... Yeah, and I'd say one of them's Varane, and the others might be Saliba, who's fantastic. Saliba and Stones No, but they've got similar. Jules Koundé as well. Like they've got good centre-halves, man. Like, it might not be Varane. I think if a lot of people are saying it's going to be Varane. No, but mate, it could and they've be, had Rami in the past. Hang on, a minute, centre back. hang on. Think about the French centre halves off the top of your head. Saliba. Saliba starts, but, Penalty. but he, no, but he'll start Varane because of experience. That's what a lot of okay, people but, think will happen. Because but, he, but he always it, goes for experience. I think he's been playing that Kunde, who Chelsea were trying to sign a couple of years ago. Kunde, yeah, but Kunde. I know, I know, it comes across like an English. Is it bias. Either, either way, though, it's better than Maguire. Yeah. Either way, but it's not better. that. Not it's a marginal difference in my opinion. It's marginal. But Varane, Varane's a lot better than Maguire, isn't he? Oh my God! No. Oh! It's one nil. Is, is it in? Is it's it a in? goal! It's a goal! Oh. John Stones has scored. Oh my God! Oh my God! I thought he hit the side netting. It's Julian Alvarez. It. No, it's Stones. Is it? Is it John Stones? It's Stones, bro. Oh. Yeah, that, that would have been goal. Hit the side Mate, netting. clever goal, short corner, clever set piece. Oh, oh look, the away end, look at the away end in raptures. Look at that, limbs. Oh, Beautiful. wow, John Stones. What a moment that is. I cannot believe what we have just seen. Clever set piece. Wow, let's have a look at Liverpool that Liverpool are rigid at defending Morris. set pieces. I thought he hit the side netting as well. Oh, mate, that's unbelievable. Look, John Stones. Oh, what a season he's having. John Stones. Kevin De Bruyne whipped it in. Do you know what? It's, 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 it was a little bit. Do you remember Trent Alexander-Arnold's Barca. corner? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Barcelona. Look, watch what happens Let's here. have a look. That's a near... Hang on, is that curled out, so... Boovy? No, 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 no. You sure? No, no, Watch, no. watch, watch. Are they, look, they're checking, aren't they, I think? Hang on. John Stones goes. No. Darwin not... Nunes doesn't go with him. That's easy. That's Darwin a goal. Darwin Nunes. That's a goal. No, it's a goal. But Darwin, a look, huge... Darwin Nunes just doesn't go with him. Kelleher near post. God. <laughs> How do you not have anyone on the front post? Mate, how's Darwin Nunes watched him go? What a, do, what do a little what? ball that is. You know is. what? Isn't it amazing, football? You know when you think about the beauty on the pitch here? Like some of the incredible footballers, some of the incisive passes, some of the most ruthless finishes in the world. And then bang, it's a set piece, English geezer, John Stones. Like, bit of a chip corner. Like, not a great corner. Like, no, he's clever, deliberately. clever corner. Yeah, clever. Yeah, he whipped it front mate, post. It's clever corner, but, mate, what I'm saying... You should be able to defend what, that. No, Booth, what I'm saying is... Yeah. 
that's a, that's kind of gold that you see oh. on Hackney Marshes. Yeah, yeah. You're yeah, not yeah. relying. Beefy. You're not relying on the beauty of Bernardo Silva's feet and then the vision no, no, of no, Kevin no. De Bruyne course, and the course. finishing of Haaland. You're relying on corner near post. Yeah, like me and you do that. Yeah, yeah. It's basics. But modern football managers don't like someone on the front post, do they? They, they like to man mark. They like to have zones or whatever. It's, I don't like. I don't understand that. You either. need. It's just simple, isn't it? You just have one one person. Go and stand on a post always. Andy Robertson or whatever. Just put in, put or Harvey Elliott on the front post because he's small. I just can't believe how... Do, do you he know, clears that. Do you know, do you know what, though, Booth? It isn't even about the post. Do you know what it's about? It's about Darwin Nunes not, tracking his not marking yeah. his man. But why is Darwin Nunes ma- marking John Stones? He's, he's our biggest that, aerial that's, threat. That's, that's legitimate. That's he's le- our that's biggest a, aerial threat behind Ireland. No, but that's a legitimate... That's, that's, a, that's a good match. Mm, I don't know. What do you think it should be? Well, I, I always thought that you'd have your no, most but, prolific scores from corners would be the two centre backs, the big striker for City, and maybe Rodri. Yeah, have four. But, but so, so your Nunes, defender should be on him. Darwin the, Nunes the would be one of their. So, I, I wouldn't trust so a striker. It would go, to it would go Van Dyke, Harland. Van like, Dyke, Harland. Van Dyke, Harland. It would probably that it would probably then go what? Uh, Joe Gomez, Gomez, Alvarez. Not not Alvarez for height. You could maybe Gomez Stones. Maybe Gomez should be marking him. I think. I don't know what you're saying for height. You, you're I right. I think Darwin Nunes is a fair match. I think that. No, but you know that he's got a, he's got a little bit of a lack of focus in him. Roar, is that be an issue for me? That you know maybe, clearly maybe that. that he's not. No. Oh, Liverpool are in. Oh, the ball was behind him. Thank God for that. This is Diaz now on his left foot. Good defending. Oh my God! It's not Get good defending out. at all. <laughs> no, but to, right. to block the cross. I yeah, think. is that offside? Yeah, I think so. <sighs> Wait, that goal is down to Nunes. I'm convinced. I'm convinced that oh, goal is down defending. to Nunes. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. Excellent finish from from uh, John Stone's intelligent run. Perfect pass from De Bruyne. But if, if Darwin Nunes does what he's supposed to do, that doesn't go anywhere near the goal. There's a couple of super chats that we have to read out. Uh, this is from the Hot Fuzz 95. He says, miss you on Twitch, Rory. Your stream's up the Liverpool. Hopefully Liverpool will pull a win. Let's get 1K likes, mate. Thank you very much. I, I go live on YouTube now. I go live on YouTube. No longer upon the Twitch, but I do go live on YouTube. That's very kind of you, though. Thank you very much. Um, this is from Siddharth. Siddharth says, Why do you ha- who do you have in an England-France combined eleven? Uh, I have, I have everybody who has to be in it from the French team. Mike Manuel. Chouamani? Chouamani is that other midfielder? Uh, Bellingham, Rice, Rice. Bellingham Rice, Chouamani? Yeah, 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 fine. Bellingham Rice, Kamavinga. But Bellingham Rice, Chouamani. Yeah. I think that you probably have Saliba. Yeah, of course, Saliba and then Mike Manuel. Saliba, Manion, and then is Mbappe? Mbappe. Oh, mate. Well, who do you have? Phil Foden or Mbappe? Uh, I think you can squeeze Foden in midfield without too many. I think you can have Rice, Bellingham, and Foden. I think you've got to be ambitious in our no, midfield. You can't have Rice, Bellingham, Foden. We just said that it's Rice, Bellingham, Chiumani. No, that's but yeah, I, I I could see why you'd put him in there. For me, Phil Foden's better than Chiumani, and they're different. They're different players, of course. Rice is better than Chiumani, in my opinion. But people will say because he's Real Madrid and Rice hasn't done it yet at the highest level in, in no, terms right, of Champions League football. I think Rice, Rice is better than than Chiumani. You, you can say you're pretty, just scared to say. I see what's happened here. Well, but, 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 you're, is, you're Foden's scared. not a left winger. No, but why, why is Foden get shifted to left wing when he's one? It, it, why we? Why do we do this to ourselves? Paul Scholes used to play left wing for for Sven. No, no, but, but the reason is because the reason is because in Chuamani there is an expert in his position centrally. Rice, 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 Rice Chuamani, Bellingham, Rice, Bellingham, Bellingham Chuamani as a, as a middle. Yours, I, respect, as a, middle. I respect your opinion. No, but you'd agree with that as a middle. Yeah, it's a decent middle. Yeah, I'd have Phil Foden instead of Chouameni and have more attacking midfielders with Mbappe on the left, Saka on the right, and Harry Kane down the middle. That's amazing. That's yeah. absolutely amazing, Morris. Come on. It depends I how agree. you view football. I think, you know, I'm more of an, a, an attacking, optimistic, glass half mm. full kind of football manager. Mm, I think Chouameni playing central midfield makes a lot of sense, though. Like, like it's yeah. all very well for you to go Foden, Bellingham, Rice, but why doesn't, Chiumani, why doesn't that work? Chouameni is a, as, as a, a box-to-box midfielder really does amplify that midfield with Rice and Bellingham. Oh, it's a super uh, powerful midfield. Foden's got far more technical ability. He can control a game far better. And he's far more attacking. He'll get you a goal. Mm. There is another super chat here that says, Ben White and Bakayo Saka's partnership would have improved the England squad well. It'd be like Pires and Henri for France. Jeremy Ebert. Do you agree? Yeah. No, I think Ben White has to but go in. you can't in. play Ben White and Bakayo Saka on that right-hand side no, because you no. can't not have Kyle Walker in the team. No, unless you play a back three and, and get tricky with wing backs and stuff like that. But well, we're past that, aren't we? Yeah. I think we're on a back four as an England fan. Mm. Um, what a huge goal that is. 1-0 up at Anfield. What an opportunity this is. And, th- and this is the second last hurdle that City have. After what's that, the, 30th the of other, March is obviously... 
uh, is Man City versus Arsenal. Obviously, we'll be covering that on the club, so make sure you subscribe. That's in a few weeks after so, the international so in terms break. Of, in terms of Manchester City's tough fixtures, if we include this one, it goes basically Anfield, Arsenal at home, Tottenham away. Yeah. Do you, you've done Man United twice now. Yeah, Man United, Chelsea's... Um... So they're the three games. So yeah. this is one down, two to go. Like yeah. Muhammad Ali, you run the show. And, and the Achilles heel for City will be the fixture congestion. If that isn't Achilles heel, we can debate that all we want because the Champions League ties... Sometimes it invigorates. Yeah, I think it does. And City are lucky enough to say that with the squad we've got, of course. And you look at Liverpool, Europa League football, I don't care how optimistic you are as a Liverpool fan, it's it's a lot of football matches, baggy football matches, Sparta, mm. Prague at home. You know, you have to play a lot of kids. They're, they're fine in that game, of course. They've, no, they're through scored. already as yeah, well. They yeah. got themselves into a very lovely situation, didn't they? But it's they... different. Be, it's living on adrenaline, going to Real Madrid in the Bernabeu, thinking you're you know, a big boy going to these Champions League games versus some of the Europa League competition. It could be very tricky and ugly and flat. And it isn't the same. It isn't the same. Do I think Liverpool could win it? Of course. But it's going to be very, very hard for them, in my opinion, with their squads. And the injuries. I mean, the injuries are huge for Liverpool as well. Um, Harvey Elliott's on the ball here. <laughs> yeah. Bullied Bernardo there. They haven't really. I don't think. I don't think Edison's made a save yet, has he? No, not really. Except that pass back moment, I guess, mm. a few minutes ago. Asking a few questions, but nothing. Go oh. across that. Oh, oh no! Oh, oh, free header for Dominic Sabozla in the box. Sabozla has to score that. I know. I know that's going to sound harsh, and I know it's going to sound very unforgiving. But the crossing from Harvey Elliott was exquisite. And in a game of this magnitude, you're not going to get a better chance than that. Look, it's a free header six yards out. Oh, you've got to score that. It's got to hit the at target, at the, the very target. least. Yeah, yeah, spot on. Do you know what? It's a very similar It's a very similar m- chance to the goal that Darwin Nunes scored at Forest. Yeah, yeah, You know yeah, when Alexis yeah, yeah. McAllister... The ball comes in. When Alexis just, McAllister yeah, yeah. dug it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a very similar chance. Sometimes it's harder when it's back post. Uh, when it's front post, because you have to get more direction on it. When it's yeah, back post, you can just sort of tuck it into the corner. You need, you need very little purchase on it. Just a just a, just touch, a little fit, just yeah. a redirect touch. it. it very, was a great very much ball. my kind of range that with the head. You know, just mate, you're very good at that. Mate. Just a little touch. You're very good at that. In my whole career, I've scored one header and it bounced first. What do you it's mean like by half, career? You mean eleven volley. when you play eleven aside? You mean just my entire football career? You've scored a few more than one, one header. One header. header no. One header. One header in my whole life. You play all and the time. And it was a cross that came into the far post. I remember it so well. Cross came into the far post, right? Fella slid in to tackle my mate. My mate's crossed it. It's been deflected, so it's gone loopy. Keeper's under it. It's come down and it's bounced. And, and I'm coming in. I was playing on the wing on the other side. As it's bounced up, I've run in and headed half it. Half volley sort of. It's a half um, volley header. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, half Amazing. volley header. It's my only ever headed, headed goal. I scored one against my English teacher once. Uh, <laughs> and I loved it because you so small. Yeah, yeah I just out jumped him. Like that. Was it eleven aside? Yeah, it was eleven aside. Yeah, yeah. I don't head. Oh, I miss those it. days. I don't. I, don't hell. I really, really don't like heading the football. God. You know when a goalkeeper is about to take a goal kick, I think please kick it. <laughs> please. It's please. starting to hurt my head as well. I'm please like, go, fuck please go the other side, mate. <laughs> I really don't want to do this. Yeah. Oh Jesus. But you, get a, you better get training, Roy. We've got oh, an 11 no, a side game know, coming up. I know, I know, um, I know. Make sure you download Super 6. You could be joining us for an 11 a side game if you get very lucky and win our mini league. You can uh, still do that. So make sure you download the app and you could also be a lot richer. Look at all the money you could potentially win. There's 750 grand sat next to me. And this is how loyal I am to Super 6. I've not nicked a single 20 quid note. It's free to play. Huge rollover. 750 grand. Make sure you download the app and you can play with us. And can I ask anybody watching, I implore you now to get into the comments. Are you a good footballer? Like, seriously. Because we're playing a very intense, very serious game of football. A game of football that matters. There is so much at stake. There is so much jeopardy and Liverpool are in. Are you good at football? Because if you are, maybe you could help us out. Let me know in the comments. Are you, like, wicked at football? If you are, join our Super 6 app. Tell me that you've joined it because we need all the help we can get, I think. I'm struggling. I can't. I can't even practice. I've got Achilles Mate, tendonitis. We played, we played together the other day. Yeah, but I got tendonitis. Oh, you played well the other day. Did I? Yeah. I oh, may appreciate you saying that. Hey, very you, well. you were exceptional. I thought, mate. <laughs> no, you were. You were. It was very sarcastic. <laughs> no, you were. You were. You were fantastic. Um, City is just stroking the ball about their own. Their own like last third. This very, is where it matters. Very risky. Although now it's yeah, but look, see look how much space you, you know get. when he moves with the ball, it's yeah. so rapid Touch. and crisp. Holland. Holland. Greedy oh, little. Fuck. Be able told, to hit that on your right. I told you about Haaland, didn't I? Can I ask you on any definition of my heart? No, no, no. Okay. It, like How when, are even you when still you see, repurposing when you that, see you this, lost the argument. When you see this, you lost the argument. I lost the argument then, but do you know what? That, it's like it's like Germany in 1946. And did we did we win any of the war? <laughs> did we? Did we? <laughs> 
Do we, yeah, lads, any little lads, victories here? Can we keep Denmark? <laughs> <laughs> lads, do we uh, give us Belgium? All I'm, all I'm <laughs> suggesting is, was I onto something? Was there some... What, sh- what definition? He scored about 80 goals for City in 18 months. He's the highest scorer in the history of the Premier League in a single so that's campaign. Your, fine, that's your opinion. That's your opinion. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome to your opinion. I saw a great video from a very talented football creator saying that the Mbappe shout was even worse than the Haaland shout. <laughs> I don't... The thing is, it's gone... That, that Mbappe shout for me has gone mad. Basically, and I know people will disagree with this... Unless you are playing in one of the major leagues, I don't see. I don't see the French league. I don't think you can be the best player in the world playing in the French league. What, come and be, the, the, come and be the best. Come and be the best player in the Premier League. Come be the best player in La Liga. Come be the best yeah, player in the yeah, Bundesliga. Yeah. We can chat. But you know, the issue is with that. The Bundesliga is not a top league in the same way as it used to be either, or, or the Spanish league because of the money in the Premier League. Mm. There, there are incredible players in the Spanish league. The Italian league's not the same. The, the Premier League monopolises a lot of our opinions about football, unfortunately, it does, because it of the does money. Now. It does now. But I still think that, you know, when you think about players in the Bundesliga over the years, Manuel Neuer, for example, you're aware of his greatness because it was the Bundesliga and because of those... But Mbappe's like, done champ- it in the Champions League. I'm he not huge... Oh, my God! Yeah, but you know you know certain players that haven't won it, yeah? R9 never won it. Yeah, but he... Did it at the World Cup. No, but he, he was playing in, like, very competitive leagues. Like... You know, playing for Barcelona and playing for Real Madrid. Yeah, yeah, and and Mbappe still needs that in his career legacy as a club player. Mm. He still oh, needs that. When that comes, but his international record. I mean, when Mbappe, when Mbappe is doing the business at the Bernabeu, I imagine that he will win a Ballon. But you know, Pele never played in a competitive. You could argue that you know the Brazilian league. I don't know enough. But about then, we, but we base Pele. Yeah, we don't know enough about Pele. But we I base. Don't. A lot I don't know. His... I'm sure people do. I we, don't. We we can blind rank Pele as the top five greatest players of all time easily. Basically, but only, debate because, uh, but only two, because that's because what of I've the been international told. record. No, but only because I've been told that. Yeah, yeah, you, you can have. No, a... I, I probably would agree with you, but yeah. the only reason that I can agree, I can't explore it critically because I don't know. No, no. Whereas of course not. Mbappe, I do know because I'm living it. Yeah, and I, I agree with you a lot with the Mbappe shout. I think he's slightly overrated when people say he's the next Henri is better than Henri already. I think that's Mbappe. I think it's ridiculous. Mm. But I think the Champs E record and the World Cup sh- stuff, he's at least. He's at least top five players in the world right now, at least. But some people say right now he's clear number one. Not for me. Who's better, Phil Foden or Kylian Mbappe? They're they're so different. It's like saying who's better. You no, know, it isn't. There it is. It's there. like saying who's better, D- David Silva or Thierry Henry. Or they're completely different players. Phil Foden, technically, you could say he's got a little bit more to his game in terms of controlling the game of football and passing and shooting. But Mbappe's got pace. He's got. He can take things on individually. Coward. You're coward. It's, it's just a football thing. I might do a video on my channel <laughs> saying Roy's and Bappy shout was embarrassing. You should. Yeah, I might do you it. Might get some views. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Yeah, but it's inter- it's, it's an interesting shout. And I I, I make the shout. I've, I've got slagged off for this. M- Mbappe scored a load against Man City in 2016-17 for uh, Monaco. I don't know if you remember that. Remember yeah, that yeah. I remember you said that he stagnated. Has he? kicked on since then because at that level he was like out of this world mm. I don't think he's improved I think he should have gone to PSG for two years but if he hasn't improved if you if you honestly think that he's either stagnated or hasn't improved since then how can you still think that he's top five players in the world because that's how good he is he's been top five since the Monaco debut in my opinion that's how good he is he can't have been he top got to a five Euro... in 2016 he was in and around it 2018 won the World Cup oh miss it you full of idiot <laughs> Oh, really? No, no, he scored there. Oh. No, he, he's been... A, you know, like Wayne Rooney, we say his best ever season, arguably, was in 2004 for, for England. You know, people say he peaked then and then he was just at a consistent level all the way through. Yeah. You know, I, I think Mbappe's been at that level for a long time. Oof. That's... A, a, that's a foul. Harlem one on one. one on one. Harlem one on one. Has he got it? Has he on. about this life? He's taking on Van Dyke. Has he done him? Go on. Oh. Van Dyke was literally... Scared there, mate. Although, he Van Dijk there. did enough to force a shot from outside the box. He didn't feel like he could beat him, beat him, did he? He should have taken an extra touch, maybe. But he got it on his left foot. Yeah, that's good for Haaland. Yeah. He was a bit clunky running there, wasn't he? He's like, fuck, you know. He's like a... It's not, you, it wasn't Henri, was it? Do you know what he looks like when he runs? <laughs> have you ever seen a donkey run? Uh, no, I've like, not. Like, you know when a horse runs, it's noble, it's beautiful, it's regal. Yeah. You know when a donkey runs, it's like I wouldn't say struggling. donkey. I think that's I think no, no. Looks like donkey a... has football. Donkey has football connotation. What about a polar bear? Kangaroo. Like a polar bear. Gallopy. He's gallopy. Gallop. He's yeah, gallopy, yeah, yeah, isn't yeah. he? Yeah. 
donkey, you can only call him a donkey if he's rubbish at the same time. No, because a donkey has negative footballing connotations, doesn't it? Yeah, like exactly. with Tony so Adams, yeah, Tony yeah. Adams and all that. Uh, what was that about? Oh, mate, it was on. It was on the front page of the paper. What you front... called someone a donkey? No, no, sorry. Fr- the front Tony Adams, brilliant player, obviously, but he was. They used to call him a donkey, Eeyore, and all that. They they? Eeyore. And do you know what? Do you know what? I think it was a mirror. You know when the mirror was selling three million copies. Front page of the mirror. It's Tony Adams' face with the donkey. Yeah. Oh! Done well to keep it there. Done well there. about five chances now. Um, and when you think about how good Tony Adams was as well, like the disrespect. Yeah. The media in the 90s were a harsh, different, harsh, different harsh, harsh. world. And now, and now you get to a stage where somebody criticises Harry Maguire and his mother comes out and says it's Stop out of order. And all that, yeah. yeah, mother comes out and says Aaron it's Ramsdale's out of order. And dad starts tweeting me and Ramsey's dad. And, <laughs> and Ramsdale's dad. And you're just like, hang on a minute. Like Tony Adams on the front page of the mirror. Three million copies. Yeah, that's crazy, man. But I'm glad it, I'm glad social media is disseminated. about the Beckham treatment that. in 98. Yeah, it's ridiculous, yeah. Absolutely ridiculous. That Beckham documentary did a great job of t- you know explaining what that must have felt like. Do you know what? I couldn't watch that. Really? I, I thought you'd have loved I, it. I watched the first episode, and I, what I really liked was, you know, like the homage to the to the era. Yeah. The love of the 90s, you know, like all of the all of all of the everything around it, Blair winning and Blair winning and, and uh Brit Pop and Noel Gallagher yeah, and yeah, yeah. whatever, the Union Jack guitar. I mean, I enjoyed what it represented. I enjoyed the throwback into into that era, but it was just an advert for Beckham. Like it was just. I it, know a lot of these aren't. It was just a yeah. PR advert. Do you know the other one? I, I I don't watch it, but I had it on. Do you know the um? It's called Drive to Survive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's an Mate, it's an advert for the F one. Yeah, yeah. It's not a documentary. It's worked well, isn't it? It's g- giving people a lot of interest. Oh no. Oh. Luis Diaz <laughs> has he is a Rizla paper away from scoring. I thought that in the back of the net. Me too. Did you see how Me terrified too. Edison was? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Liverpool, I, I Liverpool asking a lot of questions here. Look, there's no no midfield. Rodri trailing. Stones lost the ball there. He didn't recover quick enough. I don't know if these. I think Carl are... Walker's a bit flat as well. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know what the energy's like. I think it's a it's been a flat out game sort of thing. No, but I think I think as well. You know, when you're just approaching half time, when you're approaching half time, you just you one little up, just a little bit flat. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Carl Walker didn't do enough. Just Rodri out. didn't do enough. He should John hit Stones. a target, shouldn't he? Mate, Walker, Rodri, Stones. Three of the most reliable in your lifetime of City, right? Yeah, three of the most reliable. Three. They're the three that that didn't do enough there. Weird, yeah, it's it? a bit flat. I, I I wonder if they're running on empty a little bit. I know it's ridiculous, but Anfield can just suck the life out of you, can't it? Yeah. You have to just hold on now. I think a 1-0 all day long. Inv- Phil Foden. Phil Foden is That's dispossessed. A That's a foul. It is. Yellow. Well done, Phil Foden. Yellow. All right, you don't want to be asking for bookings, mate. No, I want a yellow. No, you, you big baby. You see the uh, Garnacho thing yesterday? Yes. Diving. Pathetic, man. There was a... What a pathetic, mate, did small you think... club. Yeah. Hate them. Hate them. <laughs> Aren't they small? Diving about and all that. Oh, I hate I hate them with a passion, man. Honestly. They're the most unlikable club in world football. I, I don't care what any, anyone says. Uh, I think I'm going to see your bet and raise you a Tottenham Hotspur. Yeah, but Tottenham can't be as unlikable because they don't have the scale. They are. They, they don't have the scale. They're more dislike. They're like a small business. You know, people hate Amazon because they're the biggest business in the world. And they're a monopoly on it. On, you know what I mean? I like Amazon. Amazon's yeah, really too. good. Really, some really, people don't. really helpful. Yeah, some people really hate Amazon for I've obvious I've got reasons. this thing, or my wife's got this thing. It's called Amazon Prime. Oh. <laughs> and I can get anything delivered to my house within about one day. Anything. You know, then, you know I, I can, can go for 10 years. Block. But you can't, you can't. Give me that information as if I didn't know that slash it's brand new technology. You know it's been going out for 10 years, Prime. I don't know if you know it, do I? How do I know Amazon you... Prime. What did I say? What did I call no, it? No, but, you, but you, you express that information as if you were telling me a secret. <laughs> You're like, it'd be like me. Have you ever heard of this thing? They've, they've started milking cows. It's called milk. Have you ever heard of this thing? You can <laughs> get just, it in bottles. This little known burger bar. It's called yeah. McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> Amazon Prime has been a fundamental service you can get. Yeah. For 10 years. I don't disagree. Yeah. I, mean, I haven't used it for 10 years. I've used it for about you one year. You started using it, yeah? I've it's used amazing, it for one year. And mate... Oh, you idiot! Harlan's just nicked the ball. Alvarez. Let's get a finish now. Julius finish. Alvarez. Oh. Um, <laughs> anyway, this thing. If I wanted, I could order dental floss or something like that to my house now. Probably get be there when I get home. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. I can get a book. Yeah. Anything. Toothpaste. Incredible, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely incredible. Probably stuff. sports stuff, shin pads if I wanted. Shin pads, yeah, we're going to need some of them for the Super 6 game coming up. Yeah, uh, absolutely huge. We've got it... a few minutes left in this game, one minute left, plus added time. And Liverpool have been kicking into gear, haven't they? got about 5% more possession than Man City. They haven't had a shot on target, mate. Yeah, that's that's huge. 
They haven't really tested City. Is it a problem for you at all? Are you at all worried that Manchester City have had four shots on target, but only the one goal to show for the advantage? These games are these games are uh, unicorn games. Good header, you know, Nathan Ake. You can't explain Excellent. it. Excellent header. That's great work. Beautiful ball Alvarez. retention there, Julian. Alvarez. Look at that. Lovely That's feet. Sent him, him back to primary school. Lovely feet, John Stones. Sent him back to Brighton and Ove Albion to get a fish and chips. Off your pot, mate. Uh, we've got another minute, I think, of added on time. Um, whoever wins, if it stays, whoever wins, if it stays one or two points at the top, who would be the most disappointed to not win the title? Whoever, who would be the most disappointed? It has to be Liverpool. They, they were top. They've been top more than anyone else, haven't they? No, Man City will be more disappointed to not win the league. No, 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 no. Off well, the, from now or at the start mate, of the season. You're 1-0 up at Anfield. If you don't win the league yeah, from this yeah, position. N- not now. Oh. Terrible pass. Terrible pass. Kyle Walker's just over hit across. Kyle Walker. Terrible. On the ground, at least. If you do it at that pace, it has to be, it has on, to the be on the ground. Come on, mate. Yeah, yeah. Shut up. What? That's what Elite says to you. Don't read them out. Shut up. I'll read out the negative ones about you. <laughs> it, I'm, all I'm saying is shut up. <laughs> That's what Elite Levi says to you. Paul Wound for Kyle, Kyle Walker should have done better there. Look. It's whipped too high. It's a nice ball if it's like a little bit. I don't know. Maybe It'll be a bit further out to do that. Mm. Shut up. Come on. Oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> shut up. Oh, cheers oh. from the States. Obi-Wan Quinobi says, the bar I'm at is absolutely raucous with you two in my ears as well. Quinobi, thank you very much. Have a Jaeger bomb on Boovy. Put us on, the, on, on in the bar. Oh, no. Put us on in the bar. Yeah, put yeah. us on in the bar. Huh? In, in, instead <laughs> of the game. Put us on in the bar and send a photo of us. For half time, put us, get in, us the on in the bar. Come on, put us on the bar, man. Put us on in the bar. Where are we go? What bar is it? Where? What, what, what pub state? are you in? What state are we in? Ty- uh, type guess, of sound. Guess the state he's in. Utah. What? Very obscure. I, oh, I said it, mate. You I, give a state. I think he's in Kentucky. Kentucky, yeah. I think he's in Kentucky. Kentucky fried chicken and all that. I think he's in Kentucky. That's the thing. You know, I'd rather die than eat that. That's I've never had one. one. I've had, had one in 1992. What's the last never, time you had one? I would never eat a Kentucky. Why? The smell of it. Well, you know, on my way, on my way to the gym, like by, by just down by Fincher Road Station, there's there's a Kentucky Swiss Cottage Station. To get to my gym, I got to walk past it, right? But they got yeah. this vent for me to get past oh, it. Yeah, I have to yeah. duck under it yeah. every day. When I get to the Kentucky, I go like this. <gasps> yeah, that smell of fat. Run under yeah, it. Yeah, the fat yeah. smell. Yeah, McDonald's has got it, and you can smell McDonald's that, a mile away. That Kentucky. Oh. Yeah, hundred um, percent. It's nearly half time. Come on, just blow the whistle, ref. Start bench cell. Owen, Rooney, RVP, all on their prime. Rooney starts, you bench Michael Owen. Van Persie's nowhere near. Rooney starts, you bench Michael Owen, RVP is nowhere near. There you go. Johnny Sins, Boovy's got that completely right. Johnny Sins? No, I'm just, you read it out, so read it out then. What? Johnny Sins is just just, uh, Is, Is that what it was? I no that that hang on that where's it gone? That was the one. Start bench. Who said so it? I've done it. Who said it? What's his name? I can't Johnny read it Sins. Out. Johnny Sins. Right. Do you know who that is? Yeah. Right. <laughs> who is it? Remind me. He's a f- famous actor. From what? You've seen him about, I'm sure. <laughs> Why are you being weird? <laughs> I'm not being weird. You just read out Johnny Sins' comment. Jesus. Um, it's half oh, time. I'm scared now. No, Archibald, no, I'm a lefty. Who is? Archibald. Oh. <laughs> I'm a lefty. Premier League best 11 left-footed players. Love from Colorado oh, we Rapids. We can't do a whole 11. Let's just do three players with left foot, left feet. Okay, the best, ever, the best ever player to play with his left foot is Ashley Cole. I don't, I don't know if that's true, you know. He hasn't got the best left foot in Premier League history, has he? No, no, but he's, the best, he's the best left-footed player. I think Gareth Bale. He's the best player that played on the left. No, the best I'm not player. trying to be that difficult. No, I just, in, terms I think... of, in terms of ranking, uh, Ashley you... Cole is the best player in the world to have a left foot and played with the Premier League. No, There's, no. There isn't a better left-footed player to have ever existed than Ashley Cole. I think Ashley Cole's the best left-back. I think he's the best defender the league's ever seen in terms of a, a total defender in a position. Ashley Cole's right up there with you know John Terry, Rio Ferdinand, whatever. Okay, but rather, than purely top, rather, than a, rather than an 11, w- with a ping on him, left... Three. Well, it's Van, Van Persie's in the top three somewhere Disagree. in terms of... What left like pure left foot? Just hit best be... best best left footed players. Three best left footed players. 
uh, Robin might might be in there. Mohammed, Riyad Sa- Mahrez, Mohammed Salah. Salah has to be in there. Mohamed Salah, Ashley Cole, Gareth Bale. Easy. Bale's in there. Consider it done. Ashley Consider Cole's not in there. <laughs> he's not in there. There's a difference between saying he's a, a footballer who was a left footer, but also an amazing footballer, versus someone that was gifted on their left left feet. It's completely different. No. What could Ashley do? Ashley Cole do on his left foot that Bell, you know, Bell is special, man. You can't put a defender in there. You can't, can you? You can't if you're, if you're, you. You can't. You give me a, give me something that he did uniquely special with his left foot. I think pocket, Ashley Cole's pocket Ronaldo. Yeah, we're talking in the Premier League era. In the Premier League Pro- era, pocket Ronaldo, Premier League era. No, he was just a totally good defender. He wasn't uniquely because he was a left footer. Gareth Bell did things on his left foot as no one's ever seen. The kind of goals he scored with his left. I, I know it's a ridiculous argument. May I ask you a question? Why are you trying to? Why are you trying to bully me, man? I got my list. Yeah, no, fine, fine, fine. I got my list. I thought the point of the whole. I said Mohamed Salah, Gareth Bale, yeah, Ashley Cole. Okay, and now you won't accept my my list. I just don't think you say Ashley Cole's got a better left foot than Gareth Bale. That wasn't the question. Okay, I thought that was kind of the question. Who's got the sweetest left foot? Morton Gamps Pedersen. <laughs> good guy. It's actually true. Morton, in terms of the sweetest left foot. Gareth Barry had a good left foot on his Morton Gamps Pedersen. Who else was left footed? Sweet left foot. Who's got that sweet? Ian Wone. Who's that? that Play for Forest. It's sweet, Ian Wone. Sweet left foot. Robin has to be in there, of course. Arjun Robin. But then Bayern Munich, he was, he was more of a Bayern Munich legend, wasn't he, I guess? Nah, he's a Chelsea legend as well, man. He's is, he, yeah? is he a legend? He is for me. I, I think he gets overlooked, but yeah, he is yeah. for me. I yeah. think he's superb. I, I don't think I've ever seen... You know when he like... That season... I'd never seen anything like it. Maybe maybe when Zola arrived. I remember when Zola arrived, I was just like, well, what the fuck is he doing? And mm. Like, this guy's amazing. And when Robin arrived, I was a bit like that. I was just like, this guy's dazzling, man. I don't know what he's yeah, doing. Because yeah. also, he picked the ball up and he was so fast that he'd just go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know, just drive at the heart of... The, uh, I think it was a bit of a harder period of time to do it as well because Phil. you get clumped. Aaron the pitches weren't, weren't as good. Aaron I remember Mok- a goal he scored for, for Chelsea away. It might have been at Blackburn. He I might be park. wrong. He would park. But yeah. the pitch was awful. It, well, do you know what happened that day? Aaron Mokowena broke his ankle. Oh, right. and, and, and Robin never really came back to the Premier League in the same way. No, he went off to Real Madrid. He, he scored that day. England, uh, uh, Chelsea won one nil. He scored that day. Chelsea won the league that day. It was in February. Mourinho predicted the day at the beginning of the season. Yeah, he said yeah. we're going to win that. We, we win the league that day. All the players threw their shirts in. You know, it was ridiculous. It was February. All the players throwing their shirts in. I was in the away, and Aaron Mokowena broke Robin's leg, his ankle. Yeah. But he scored. It was yeah, it was amazing. But he could Absolutely he could easily be. Um, big result for Arsenal. Huge. Huge. Yeah, um, I sort of said on Twitter and stuff it was a comeback. I know it was a draw and they were never in a losing position, but it felt like a comeback. The way that Arsenal were so flat after Aaron Ramsdale mistake, obviously we'll talk about it later on. Um, but overall, to get a 2-1 win, I feel that last season that is a one all draw. The stadium's flat, people leaving early and they don't have the mentality to get back in it. And arguably they don't have the player that can kind of get into that position and score that clutch goal. That is Kai Havertz. Mm. Do you know what? Do you want to know something? Kai Havertz is really starting to get on my nerves. Like, really starting to get on my nerves. Because I still don't rate him. But I must concede that he is doing the business. Huge. He's already scored the same amount of goals for Arsenal this season than he scored in his best season for Chelsea. He's turning up when it most matters. He's turned into a player who's sort of lethal in the air. They're very good in the air. He is now responsible for them winning games. He's responsible for them accruing points. He's responsible for last-minute winners. He's playing to the end. He's displaying that edge and that fight and that venom that is so necessary to be a top-tier player and to be mm. a Premier League champion. Yeah, He's displaying all those attributes, all those qualities. Yeah, you're spot on. And it's, it's a real worry. There are two ways to look at this Arsenal result, though. I think one way is probably the way that I'm looking at it, which is, this is massive for them. This is... This is the perfect storm. They're fighting to the end. They are winning games when it most matters in the last minute. And that is arguably what makes champions. But there is another way to look at it. The other way is, this is something that you've said to me, actually. I often think it's right. You said it to me about Arsenal this time last year. You said it's all too emotional. It's all too last minute. I remember when they beat Villa away from home. Mm. Remember the Jorginho Jorginho. hit the bar, Emi Martinez, little cushion head up. yeah, 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 yeah. I remember saying to you, and you you were spot on actually with hindsight. I remember saying to you in the aftermath of that, God, what they've done there is so, so, it's so in keeping with being champions. 
And you said it's, it's just too emotional. There's just too much. You can't have these cup finals 10, 15 games before the end of the season. You can't constantly do that. Ultimately, you pull these results out of the bag once or twice. You can't be doing it constantly. Do no. you think that this Arsenal team... Oh, you, look, you're a Man City fan. You, are you scared of Arsenal or is your focus Liverpool? I'm scared. I'm scared of both. I think it's a perfect storm for Arsenal because last season Arsenal had themselves. They had to rely on themselves to take points off City, and they didn't do that. They lost home and away last season in the Premier League to Man City and in the FA Cup as well. This season they've already beaten Liverpool in the league. This season they've beaten Man City in the league. They've set themselves up to be in a position where they go to the Etihad and it's in their hands. They can win at the Etihad. That's what sports about. It's about taking these opportunities and and giving it. Um, the chance to do it on your own terms. If you lose to Brentford at home, if you draw to Brentford at home, especially after the mistake that Aaron Ramsdale made, then it's no good for Arsenal. And it, it's repeating the same old cycles, but something changed and something's changed this season. Beating Liverpool at Anfield the way they did, beating Man City 1-0, keeping a clean sheet, the way they're scoring goals away from home, almost never been seen before in uh, this competition. They've got the best defensive record in the last few months in all of Europe. Mm. They're, they're outscoring everyone in Europe. Mm. They've, they've got the, the best goal. They've got the best goal difference in the yeah, Premier League. Exactly. I know it's, it's, it's huge, isn't it's it? It's huge, mate. I think they've they've turned a corner. Yeah. Now, if they go to the Etihad and lose to this great Man City side, a generational side, then I think Arsenal fans can live with that better. I'd still argue that with the money they've spent, with the, the, the amount of confidence these Arsenal fans have, that they should be trying to win that game at the very minimum or at least draw the game and not lose, especially the way they lost last season. Mm. All I can say is the way they got back into the Brentford game in the final 20 minutes showed so much control it looked like a Premier League title winning performance. Mm. I would argue that the result against Brentford at home is probably more significant and more impressive than any of their other wins, maybe with the exception of the Liverpool game in January. Yeah. All of the wins this year, so there's nine of them. The most impressive is what they did in the last couple of minutes against Brentford because, look, you know, we've seen them score four goals this season, this year. We've seen them score five goals. We've seen them score six goals twice, right? We know that they've got goals galore in the team. We know that they can do that. But you know when they score four, five? What do you learn? They smash up Sheffield United. What do you learn about them? The West Ham one was learn, special. What one. do they learn about themselves? No, yeah, I know what, what you mean. Yeah. Whereas when they, when they nick it against Brentford, I think you learn so much about them. Yeah, That's yeah. being champions, isn't it? Yeah. Not playing that well, not really deserving it. I mean, they deserved it over the course of the 90 minutes. But when the score's one all at home with two minutes left, you could argue that Brentford have done so much for the vast majority of the game that they deserve a point. Mm, you know, even if they've did. had, you know. Yeah. yeah. What do you make of what do you make of Aaron Ramsdale's mistake? I might have gone a bit heavy on Twitter and stuff like that. What did I you thought, say? I basically said he shouldn't play for Arsenal ever again. He won't play for Arsenal ever again. Uh, that uh, is his last game for Arsenal. You think that's his last game? Yeah. What did you make of? The mistake was he was there any aspect to it where it wasn't quite his fault? Was the pass <laughs> soft? Is there any discussion there no, at all? No, no, no. Uh, he is completely and utterly responsible for that moment. He was completely and utterly responsible for a potential moment in Arsenal season where they would have lost ground in the title race if you're generous and lost all traction in the title race if you're harsh. He would have been responsible for that. Mm. And I think people were being very nice to Ramsdale. And I think you and I. You and I sit in very different places with regard to Aaron Ramsdale, with regard to how good he is. But, you know, what what he did in that game, and people will say, but look at the saves afterwards. There was a brilliant save from the header. There was a brilliant save from the Ivan Tony pot shot. Nothing makes up. You know, people, and I think the commentary team does it. There seems to be this really nice approach in football these days where people go, he made up for it. You don't make up for that. No. Scores one all. You've conceded no. a goal. Just before half time, he, he did make some good saves in the second half, but, but that doesn't make that, that's, that's make what you're well. meant to make. Yeah, yeah, of course. That doesn't make up for the no, no, the, no. the terrible. And look, yeah. he won't he won't play for Arsenal again. And I don't know if you saw this image, but I saw him drop to his knees. Did you see it? He's he's got his hands. If you're if you're listening on the pod here, he's got his hands delicately draped around oh. his ears to suggest that he is cancelling out the hate. I think he's living on vibes. I think he knows that it's his last hurrah. I think he's thinking about going to Marbella in the summer to have a nice time, have a holiday before he finds a new club. He's a bottom level Premier League keeper. He always has been. He'll never be world class. See, all of this I don't agree with. But I do think that... But, but a... where, do you see, where do you see it? Because I would say you, you that... You said he was better than Joe Hart and Pickford and all that. An England the, keeper, he's bang but, average. But mate, for, for two years, this time last year, he's one of the best keepers in the league. And the year before that, I think he was, he was brilliant for Arsenal. 
Okay, it didn't go Arsenal's way, but he didn't put a foot wrong. But brilliance when you come eighth is a very different narrative or come fifth or come second. To be a top-level keeper... It was brilliant for them last year. It was brilliant. You can still be brilliant. There's always three or four keepers every year that are brilliant. Do you remember the performance that he put in at, at White Hart Lane? Do you remember that the fan jumped yeah, on yeah. and kicked him? Yeah, yeah. Like, look, the way that you talk about him, I feel like you're talking about I don't know. Like, do you know I compared like, him to like last Robert night? Sanchez or Kepa Ruiz no, I, 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 I know what you mean. He's better than those keepers, of course. Do you know what I said on, on my channel last night when I reviewed the game? I thought it reminds me of Tim Howard at Man United. He was never a Man United keeper, very, very good keeper, but he was a little bit too. He, he, he was a, a, a big fish. Uh, he was a small fish in a very, very big pond. Never good enough to make it number be the number mm. one keeper. He went to Everton. He played four hundred games, five hundred games for Everton. He was absolutely incredible, right? He isn't a Man United. He isn't an Arsenal keeper. He's not a Man United keeper. He's not a Liverpool keeper. He's an Everton. He's an Aston Villa. If we view Aston Villa as a top ten side, he's a West Ham keeper. He isn't an Arsenal keeper. Mm. We, we, interestingly, you were sort of saying this even when he was really good, weren't you? I've never thought he's. I, I, we talk about keepers and their prime and they, they, these periods of time. I've I've seen Joe Hart as one of those kind of. Uh, uh, frustrating England keepers who we, we see all the talent in the world and then they make mistakes or they're shouting at ball boys for England at Euro 2016 and losing to Iceland. Joe Hart's peak for two years at Man City far outstrips any talent I've ever seen from Aaron Ramsdale. And I'll sit here and say that he fell off quick, Joe Hart, after he made a few mistakes. He was a fantastic servant to the club and a legend. Aaron Ramsdale will never win the Premier League, in my opinion. I'm, never win the Premier League. It's very difficult. No, I don't think he will now no. because I think whatever club he goes to next... Well, well, it's not going to be Liverpool and it's not going to be City and it's, it's going forest. to be leaving Arsenal. It's a forest, isn't it? It's something like that. It's a forest. If Leeds come up next season, he'll go to Leeds. Something like that. But he's... Uh, he's look, been relegated look, so many I think, times I think in his there's career. A problem, I think there's a real problem with him. Don't get me wrong. I really do think there's a real problem with him. Simply off the back of... Simply off the back of some of his interviews more than his performances. Mm. You know the way that he's spoken, for example? You know the way that when it, that interview with Ian Wright? Yeah, yeah, blew my mind. Yeah, and actually, everything that he said in that game about concentration, that was on display when we saw it the other day at the Emirates. Yeah, yeah. When he's not concentrating. No. So no, I do, I do massively think there's an issue. I do think there's a problem. But if if we're actually exploring it, you know how you said Forrest, I think he's. Look, I'm very happy with Petrovic. I don't particularly like Sanchez, but Ramsdale is better than. All of the goalkeepers at Chelsea, isn't You it? can't want him at Chelsea. He, no, he I'm not, no, I don't adjust, want adjustment. him. I don't want him because I don't... I don't want him because I don't rate him outside of... I don't like the way he speaks. I don't like the way he conducts himself. I don't like all this. I don't no, like... That's ridiculous. I don't like him saying that he can't concentrate. But simply trying to appreciate the ability... Like, he's clearly a better goalkeeper than Robert Sanchez, isn't he? Yeah, but that's a low bar to set. I think you could you could take the, the, the Palace keeper. I think you could take the I think you could take Jose Sarr at Wolves, for example. Um, I think that's a low bar to set. I think you'd be struggling, Rory. I wouldn't want to sit next to, sit next to you on the club every week with Ramsdown goal for Chelsea. Um, Do you think we'll ever see him play for Arsenal again? No. Do you think no. Arteta's just sick of him? Yeah, I think, he, I think he'll be absolutely livid with what happened and they'll try and get through it and just pray that Ray isn't mate, injured. Got, I know we've spoken um, about it, mate, but I've got to bring it up again. That reaction to it was ridiculous. Aaron Ramsdale's reaction. Yeah, it's madness, it's madness. Like, who on earth do you think it's you crazy. are? How is that the move? Yeah, it's crazy. But should we just wrap up and sort of uh, any other observations from the game from you? I, I think Jorginho was fantastic. Declan Rice obviously scored a fantastic goal as well. Declan, but Declan Rice is amazing. But do you know where I have to go? Like, I think Ben White deserves a mention here as well. He, he was, you know, the epicentre for two goals. Really brilliant. He's been, since he got back from Dubai, he's been a man possessed. You know when he got his tan back? He's been a man possessed. <laughs> Weird look about the guy, but... He has been amazing and it's getting to the stage now where you say he has to play for England. He has to start for England, even out of position at centre-half. But do you know where I have to go back to? It's getting to the stage now where if Arsenal win the league and it's looking a real prospect, a huge reason as to why they win the league will be because of Kai Havertz. Yeah, like, yeah. I don't want Havertz to do well and I don't want Arsenal to win the league. And these two awful forces, Arsenal winning the league and Havertz, are sort of combining to create one Voldemort type character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See that reference? Yeah, Harry Potter. That was for you, mate. Leavesden Studios. <laughs> but yeah, not overly not overly Cards on the table then. It. Where do they finish? Cards on the table. Arsenal. Yep. Yeah. Do you know what, Booth? I'm I'm not I'm not avoiding your question here. I promise. It sounds like I'm gonna like dance around this because I'm not I'm not I don't want to do that. 
But it's getting to the stage with this Premier League title race. It's hard on. And this is the this is the best thing you can say about it. This demonstrates the beauty of the title race. I ain't got a clue. No, I think they'll come second. I think they either come first or third. <laughs> Weirdly, the only <laughs> way that, I think they I think they either win it or they finish below. We've the, covered every number, haven't we? That's yeah, we're all bases covered. We yeah. can't be wrong. So this video will live forever. We can't be wrong. Beautiful. Between us on the club, we've got the number right. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful. Uh, we're back stuff. underway here. Second half. You going for a Jimmy Riddle? Not yet. All right. I'll go on in. Oh, I, oh. I don't mind. I don't care whether you go for a wee. You do what you want, mate. Oh, we're having a protein Let me bar. This. Do you want a bit of this? Yeah. I've got to get strong like you. All right. Tear yourself off a bit. I'm going to be too. Strong. I only have a little bit. What have I got this for This is you? a Rory monologue. Oh, a millionaire shortbread. Oh, I'm going to be so. 15 grams of protein. I'm going to be the toughest man in the world. Thank you. Very kind, Booby. So, I'm on my own, everybody. So, let's do a Q&A. If there's anything you want to talk about, let me know. I'm going to eat some protein. Not tasty, is it? But I will be ripped for the ladies. Fair play, Rory. Thank you. What's that for? But I appreciate it. Booby, Dugeport City, you're from Bristol. The Gunners Awakening. I appreciate the donation, but I'm, I don't do this to be popular. You're looking for Y-O-U apostrophe R-E. You are, not your. Your would be your belonging. This is your protein bar. <laughs> the super chat means I've got to read it out. Baines' left foot was more gifted than Cole's. Leighton Baines isn't comparable to Ashley Cole in any metric. And distinctly average. It's when I realised that Roy Hodgson was just out of his depth when he started picking Leighton Baines over Ashley Cole in Brazil. Do you reckon Chelsea was holding Havertz back? I don't think that. I really don't think that. But I also must admit that quite... Oh, my God! Darwin Nunes has gone over here. That's either a dive or a penalty. What's going on? He's given a pen. He's given a pen. Boovy! It's not worth ducking when you do that. Just charge through. What pen? What are you want a battle? Penalty. For who? Liverpool. Oh, why did you fucking bring me in then, then? Why did you just leave me out there in the fucking call? I don't want to see a penalty for Liverpool. You don't want to miss the game. Was it a penalty? I think it's going to be given, yeah. Darwin Nunes goes over. Edison comes out. Look, Edison, Edison's really feigning the injury, which makes he's not, me... He's not feigning nothing. Oh, he's asking for the stretcher now. Yeah. <laughs> he stood up, look. Yeah, he, needs a, oh. he, needs a, he needs a substitution. Do you know how much you fucking took? I had a tiny bit. I was just about to get a bit more. You're lucky you came back. <laughs> Quite nice. I took hard in. You eat that. me out of house and home, you do. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake, man. What happened? Can you explain what happened? Uh, I think it was a pass back that was intercepted by Darwin Nunes. Darwin Nunes gets to the ball first. There's a collision. Here you go. Look. Nunes gets the ball. It is a, it's a penalty now. Yeah, it is a penalty. It's a penalty. Is he going to be sent off, though? That's the crucial thing. No, no sending off. Might be. With Michael Oliver, you never know. This guy's a fucking idiot. Mickey O? Yeah, he's a fucking turncoat, isn't he? <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> Would you ever call Aaron Ramsdale Rambo? I don't know. I was trying to find the tweet where his dad slagged me off and I was going to retweet him, but uh, I think he deleted the tweet. That's a shame. You need to screenshot that. You need to like screen screenshot that. <laughs> Is it harsh? Is it like some mental health thing? I know, I know it's ridiculous, yeah? No, you're allowed to criticise. You know, football. we get slagged off mate, in the media for certain things that mate, we've done mate, or whatever. Mate, mate, mate. It's, it's ridiculous. I got it. I got it. When I started criticising Harry Maguire and then his mother got involved, I was like, hang on a minute. I'm allowed to criticise. I'm allowed to critique the Manchester United captain. Don't try and portray my critique as if it's some sort of hate crime. I said Harry Maguire had a bad game. I said he's not very good at football. I said him putting his hands in his ears off the back of scoring against Albania at Wembley was an embarrassment. Don't try and portray yeah. that as if it's committing some sort of hate crime. No. I ain't done anything wrong here. It becomes a hate crime when you, you make get it personal. personal. You make it personal. And football fans have done that. You know, football fans might trap down your family or whatever in rivalries. We've seen crazy yeah. stuff in football. But no, you can say whatever happens on the pitch happens on the pitch. If you call someone a crap footballer, you ain't doing nothing wrong. No. I, you ain't doing nothing I'm, wrong. I'm spot on. Uh, you're spot on. Thank you. Alexis McAllister. All 10 penalties in his England career. He scored nine. Oh. Nine out of 10. That's 90%, Boovy. That's 90%. God, the fields so of big, Anfield Road are about to light up. Miss it. Miss if it. If he misses, this could be the Miss title. It. Title defining penalty here. Come on. Does Edison have a good track record of saving pen was? Uh, it's not amazing. Here we go, Alexis. <gasps> oh! It's 1 1. 
Oh, un, saved un. it, Wars. Un, oh. un. He touched it, didn't he? Un, That's a huge un. penalty for Liverpool. Huge goal. Huge goal. Oh. You are you are all over the gaff, mate. Start like this. What was the ball back? Was it just played it, through? It was Nathan Ake. Made a mistake. I think so. Our defence has been a little bit shaky to our high standards. It has been a bit shaky in recent weeks. Good penoir. Oh. No, great penalty. Oh, Into the side netting. Unsavable height. Lovely penalty from Alexis McAllister. The score is yeah. Liverpool 1, Manchester City 1. He's been superb this Do you season. take a draw now? If I offered you the draw right now, I'll take it. No. Really? No, try and beat these lot. Do you take the draw, mate? Yeah, try and beat these lot. You really I'm ambitious. You want five DMs in our midfield. I want to try and win things. No, you have to take the draw. ambition, Roars. No, you take the draw against Liverpool. And no, no, I'll take a win. No, you take the draw. Oh, Lord above. We need to see some quality from City. It's been all Liverpool, hasn't it, the first half? Yeah. No, it's been all... Oh, what? The, the start of this half? Uh, uh, yeah. Second half, yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, wow. Oh, mate, the momentum is certainly with Liverpool. Oh, Jesus. Do you know... Do you know If we could get Aaron Ramsdale's father as a guest on the club, would you be up for that? He wouldn't want to come down, would he? Will, will you try and book Aaron Ramsdale's father... As Nick, guest. his name is Nick. His name is Nicholas. Nicholas Ramsdale. I'm really keen to introduce him to Boovy. Do you have a thing with him, is it why you, you rate him so much? Because I think it's, it's irrational how much you like him. Ramsdale? Yeah, I think it's irrational. Do you, know, do you know what it is, mate? It's because of the season that he had last year and the season that he had the year before. I was just like, this bloke's amazing. Do you I, think I we're really... just like in a period of football where there's a lack of quality everything? Because I think if me and you are having this conversation in 2007, he's not a championship keeper. Championship? No. In 2007, 2006, there's so many better quality keepers. I'm not sure. I, I, the Premier League was you know, littered you know, with amazing you know keepers. Do you remember funny? there, there were? Do you know what's quite funny here, right? You know how, like, you're one of my really good mates. You're somebody who I speak about football with all the time. It's amazing how we can see this so differently. Yeah. Because I don't, I find your, I find, you know when you go, he's going to be at Nottingham Forest or Sheffield United. I just think, no, he's definitely, at the very least, a Europa League goalie. And you, when I say that he's in the, the Europa very... League for, for uh, so he's not obviously look, Liverpool are a different uh, situation. They're in the Europa League for one season, but they're in the Europa League. If you did, he it, doesn't start for Liverpool. The season that he had last year and the season that he had the year you, before. But was my who had a great season for whole City and West Brom. Do you know what I mean? Some of these keepers are fantastic. No, but having a great season, season for rubbish. Arsenal, having a great season for Arsenal is also more significant than having a great season for Hull. Not if it is significant if they come second, and a big oh, part of them coming the second be- is because of the defensive frailty that you were fundamental. It was to. the best season that Arsenal have had for for. What a decade yeah. since they finished second. But why year? can't we criticize the fact they they bottled the league to a higher extent oh my than? Oh, good. Oh. Oh, he's off. There's no club in the history of Premier League football, even Newcastle United, with Kevin Keegan giving it the big I am. Right. Mm. No clubs ever bottled the league after 247 days. He was part of that. He threw the ball to the Southampton player at the Emirates. Mm. These are huge mistakes. You see, Peter Cech ever do that? I just wonder who who's right here. I think it's me. <laughs> no, you know, and I think it's me. Yeah. It's I, I don't think you're appreciating quite how brilliant he was last season and the season He's been before. relegated about five times in his career. Got relegated, I think, with Rochdale. I think he was at Wimbledon. I think he's loads of clubs got relegated. He got relegated twice in the Premier League already. Will I am? Can we go to the very latest quotes, please? Comments, please. I'm just interested to see. Are people, Boovy's right. Jacob agrees with you. Boovy's right. Ray is better. Paul, he, he's not better than Paul Robinson. Who is saying Ramsdale starts for Liverpool? Nobody. Scott Carson's better keeper. I'm, I'm thinking of any English keeper I've ever seen in my life. He's better. He, Paul Robinson's better. So Scott Carson's better keeper in his prime. No. The guy at Wigan. What's his name? Uh, tall one. No. The cap. What's his name? Ali Al Habzi. No, the, the uh, Scouse keeper. Oh, I know who you mean. Chris Kirkland. Yeah, Chris Kirkland was better keeper no. than Ramsdale. Uh. <laughs> Conor Arsenal. Gallagher is with me. Conor Gallagher. Boovy is right. Is that actually Conor Gallagher? I think it's actually him. He, someone in the chat doesn't know who Paul Robinson is. England's number one someone, in 2006. Uh, t- Tottenham's keeper. David James is better keeper. David James is actually quite a good comparison. Because like Calamity yeah. James and all that. Calamity James. He's like, but David James' ceiling for technical ability as a keeper far higher. Michael than Eaton agrees Ramsdale. with me. But I think more people are agreeing with you. Oh no, Rid says Boovy is not right. Sorry, I thought that Boovy is right. He wouldn't start for any of the top four. He's not as good as Vicario for Spurs. He's not as good as Emmy Martinez. He's did, not as good as you, anyone. Is it someone's brought up De Gea? Did you used to? Did you used to rate De Gea? No, never. See, I rubbish. Did. Really? Yeah. Dave saves and all that. I don't know what's happening to me. Yeah. I mean, sure. and you, you've got very different perspective on goalkeepers. Weird, isn't that how it works? 
Lloris and Bartes are on the same level as Ramsdale. He's Bartes. He's Bartes. Spot on. Bartes. He's Roy Carroll. Wait, Bartes was good. No, but he was never. No, he was. He, he was. He sh- Do you know how many Maybe keepers? No, he wasn't good. He wasn't like good, was he? I mean, he's the French keeper when they won the World Cup. <laughs> like, no. French keeper when they won the World Cup got signed by Manchester United, who had recently won a treble. <laughs> not for me. Not for no, no. But he didn't improve Man United, did he? The, there are loads of examples of keepers. Do you know what I mean, I, I don't think he's anywhere near. Okay. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll leave it there because I think we just have to agree to disagree on this. Edison's off for Stefan Ortega. Huge 35 minutes for uh, the uh, the German Look keeper. Look how cool he looks, Ortega. Yeah, he's fantastic Great keeper. tash going on. He's a fantastic keeper. There's an argument he's good enough to start for Very, very uh, village people. Ortega's better than Ramsdale. But there we have it. Liverpool look far more energetic, don't they? They've been boosted by that penalty, no question. It's a huge 35 minutes. If they if they score now, it's like it's like Tartar is over, isn't it? I think Liverpool just go on to win the league. That's how big this 35 well, minutes is. Okay, that sounds hyperbolic, but talk me through it. Do you actually mean that if City lose this game, they cut walk of us? Oh, I lost the ball there. So if do you actually mean if if City lose this game, there is no way that City could maybe win every game between There's now and There's a way. We'll beat, I think we'll beat Arsenal at the Etihad, whatever happens. Um, in which case, it, in, in which just, case, this defeat wouldn't be the end of the world. Liverpool just sit on the sit on the wins. They've been top for so long. I think it matters. And this, and fundamentally, you know, Klopp knows how to win the league title. Mm. He knows how to do it. He knows how to get the, the performances needed to win game after game. Okay, so it's a huge so, thirty-five so, so, minutes. Wait, do you, do you honestly think that that's interesting? I don't think that people in the chat will agree with that. So, if City lose this game, yeah. you're saying that the title is prob- probably beyond them. It's probably. A, yeah, yeah, I think Ooh. it is. And what, what about the other way around then? If Liverpool lose this game from here, do you think the title is beyond them? Off the I back? think it is. I think these games have, have decided so, so many, this, so many things. This game will make it a two-horse race. Whatever happens, unless it's a draw. Yeah, the draw opens Arsenal up a little bit. I think Arsenal No, no, fans... no, it's a two-horse race with Arsenal is what I'm saying. So if Liverpool win this game, you discount City, it becomes well, Liverpool yeah, yeah, or Arsenal. Yeah, yeah, Arsenal. If City oh, win this City game, in, oh my City God, in. terrible pass. Oh. Terrible pass. Is that Alvarez? Yeah, Alvarez uh, won the ball pass. high up. He won the ball, but then then his distribution was all over the place. Liverpool. Touch. T- Foden, Foden. Foden. Oh. That ball was fizzed into him. This game is hotting up. This game is sensational. That pass into Foden from De Bruyne, that was rocketed into him. You know, if that yeah. was hit at Eve Russ, it knocks us over. Yeah, it's Foden touch. took it on his, in his stride. Great that would touch. literally knock you over. Knock me over. Yeah. He took yeah. it in his stride. Yeah. Ridiculous. Oh, t- what are you doing there? Oh. Mate, considering how good these teams are, there's been a lot of unforced errors today. I suppose it's the ma- magnificence of the game yeah, and the, the quality of the opposition. I oh, think, Bernardo yeah. Silva. Montage. Yeah, we need to see a bit more possession from City, I think. I need to see control. Bernardo Silva give him more, more credit in the Premier League. Yeah, you're I a just, huge fan, aren't you? He's, he's, everything, I, a, he's everything I want yeah. from, from professional footballers and from players I play with. Yeah, yeah. You Might know, be his last that, season, by the way. That, he's just unbelievable, oh. Bernardo Silva. I don't understand why people don't talk about him for a Ballon d'Or. He's yeah, just the way. best. Oh, my God! Touch. What a pass back! Darwin Nunes just played a 1-2 with Luis Diaz when it looked like the ball was going to be uh, reversed the other way. Very clever from Darwin Nunes. Wow, well, mad that camera angle here. What's this from Darwin Nunes? Because, look, there's an overlap. Keep the ball going the way that it was going. Darwin Nunes control. I mean, if, if Luis Diaz controls that, you're in big trouble. You got. Do you, do you have faith in Ortega? You have. You yeah, not, not happy of it, but you good keeper. Good keeper. Yeah, very good keeper. Yeah, he was going to go to Bayern Munich in the do summer. You, do you think he's? You, yeah, but so was Kepa Ariza Balaga at one point. That is true. Yeah. Do, yeah. Does um does where would you rank? I I think Chelsea at one point had the best goalkeepers ever. It's like in one and two. How good do you think? Yeah, you're it's what? right up there. Yeah, it's, it's close to Kudacini and Czech. Yeah, we had Kudacini, Kudacini, Czech. Kudacini is better. At one point, we had at one point we had Czech Schwarzer as well, which I thought was quite good. Schwarzer, a forty-one-year-old Schwarzer. No, no, I don't mean. Was he that old? Maybe 41. he was. He was the oldest player to make a debut in the Champions League. Was he when he played against Atletico Madrid? Was he? Right? I remember that game. He was very shit. Like, must have been. He didn't, he didn't must, have a bad wait, game. If it was but that he was shaky. old. Would it have been Courtois? Would it have been Courtois Schwarzer? Maybe. I, I no, I think it was Czech. Was it Czech? Right. I think Courtois was on loan. At one point, we had Czech. Courtois, actually, that might be the. Mm. Although Courtois wasn't quite the man. That then Czech got ousted, yeah. didn't he? Because of, I think he, re- I think he did an interview recently. Mate, actually, saying he realised the club needed to get rid of him to let Courtois have the minutes yeah, needed. Yeah, Mate, he's an do, asset. Do you, do you know where I um, do you, do you know in terms of like gaffes that I've made in like football predictions? You know the ones that people will focus on will always be like my Harland shout. Do you know what my biggest ever gaff was? 
not wanting Petr Cech from Ren. I was like, we've got Kudicini. Kudicini's brilliant. Kudicini is the best goalkeeper that we've ever had. I was that's like, a, that's a valid shout. Kudicini was the guy. Yeah, I was yeah. like, we don't need this guy. He's, he's a guy out of Ren. He's amazing. Yeah. yeah. I think he's cost seven million from Ren. What a signing. Yeah. Oh, shame it's not on his left foot that touch. I think he chips it over the keeper. Yeah, oh, yeah. Mohamed Salah is on the pitch. If City lose, it will be Rodri's first loss in 60 games. Yeah, do you know Do you know what? <laughs> you know when City scored quite a late equaliser? It was Rodri that scored against uh, Chelsea. Chelsea, yeah. All the City players, as you would expect, tried to get the ball back. Rodri really celebrated. And, and I couldn't understand why he was so... He was he was celebrating the point. He was celebrating not being beat. But he was celebrating his own personal record, never losing for City. Like, that's why in he was so... Games. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah. I don't... Th- he's lost for City when he... Yeah. It's, it's about the games In the Premier League. Yeah, he's lost the city. In the oh Premier right, League. I thought he hadn't lost. It's sixty in a row in all competitions. Sixty when he in a row. Starts the game of football. He basically. Does I don't even lose. think it's sixty. I think it's fifty-five at this point. I don't know if it's sixty. It's close to sixty. I might be wrong about that. It's, it's over fifty-five at least at this point. It's crazy. Imagine, imagine playing alongside someone like that. Every time he starts, I win. Yeah. It's yeah. like when Gareth Bell starts. It's the opposite to when Gareth opposite, Bell started. You know what I mean, it's yeah, like yeah, when yeah, Gareth yeah. Bell starts. It's like you're losing this game. How many games was that? that? That's a trivia quiz question for everyone in the chat. How many games in a row did? Gareth Bell not win for Spurs when he started for Spurs under Harry Redknapp. Uh, huge. I saw a great interview about Juan de Ramos. I think, I think he was the last he, Tottenham manager to win a trophy. Yeah, yeah, of course. But there was a, a, a I don't know why it came out yesterday. I saw it on Twitter somewhere. It was like he made players physically ill with his new what, diet that he brought oh, in. Diet. Yeah, he, he brought in this like, no carb diet or something like that. And um, yeah, I remember. I remember he, his his interview. You know, they beat us in the League Cup final. Oh eight. Yeah, his interview after it was fantastic, right? Because he's like, "This is the first of many. This is, you know, like, I haven't won a trophy since." Yeah, they used to sing that for him. Tottenham fans, they used to give it that one day or another. Oh god, gonna find you. <laughs> it's gonna get you, get you, Who's get you, get you one day. No, Blondie, isn't it? Oh my god, Luis Diaz is in. What a pass from Mohamed Salah! <laughs> <laughs> he spooned it like he has old game. Luis. Diaz has We're hit the ball wide. Edge, yeah. Luis Diaz has hit the ball wide. The pass from Mohamed Salah is one of the most exquisite assists. That's not an assist anymore, but it would be one of the most exquisite assists that you will see this season. Very open. Carl Walker out of position. Not often you say that and it'd be correct. Carl Walker oh, totally out of position. That. Caught the wrong side of Luis Diaz. Luis Diaz opens his body up well. Ortega comes out. <laughs> Ortega makes his body big in fairness. Yeah. But Luis Diaz has to score. Luis Diaz has to score and he hasn't. They believe. Look at Klopp. He believes there's something here. Mate, I'm starting to believe. I'm starting to believe that Liverpool, City, City need a bit of possession. They need to just, they need to take the sting out of the game. Anfield yeah. will be rocking now. We've not this controlled is, the game. This is why it's so important to switch it round. Imagine if Liverpool was shooting to the cop. Yeah, 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 hundred percent. You know when they won the toss, very important. Yeah, huge. Um, yeah, we need more control in midfield, no question. But that Salah change is going to be massive. I, he, they've timed it perfectly. You know, they knew they could get through the game. In a decent position, bring on Salah to change the game and the ball Diaz! come in. Carl Walker! Oh, Carl, Carl Walker's Walk- made Listen, an unbelievable movie, movie. challenge. Carl Walker's done well, but it's very important if you're gonna if you're gonna acknowledge the excellent tackle and recovery, you have to also acknowledge why on earth is he so out of position? He's again? out of position, yeah. He's not goal side. Look how far away he is. Yeah, but it's a turnover in possession. He's not expecting the ball to be lost like it was. I don't know okay. who's lost the ball for City, but it's not expected from Carl Walker. He's advanced because we had the ball and we've lost it cheaply. I don't. That's his fault. I don't. I don't think that's his fault at all. <laughs> he's far up. He's expecting Manchester the ball City, to get whipped around. Manchester City are, are, are living on a knife edge here. They're living on a prayer, and they're halfway there. Bon Jovi. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, why have you headed that when it was going to go straight into Ake? Ake he's not slagging these lot off, mate. Just let them live. Let them live and let be. Beatles. <laughs> let <laughs> don't be. even let die. Is that another let Bon Jovi song? No, no live, and, let, live, and, live, live, live and Let Die. Oh, it's is that what it the is? The Bond song, isn't it? Live and Let Die. Yeah, but Bon Jovi does. Let, let, let It Live or something. What is it? I don't know. No, Bon Jovi didn't do Bon, let bon Jovi did Let Me Live or something. Let no, me... he didn't. No, he didn't. Stop <laughs> talking about Bon Jovi as well. You brought it up. I didn't. Ball's coming in. Oh, out you go. Out you go. Clear it. Oh! <laughs> oh, Salah! Can we... I'll take a draw now. I'll take a draw now. No, you, you no, offered no, no. the draw, you turned it down. Oh, no, I want a draw. I offered you the draw and I turned it down. Oh, Jesus. Julian oh. Alvarez, bit weak, bit weak. I'm nervous, mate. I'm nervous. 
I'm quite nervous. Not, look, we did everything. Endo's just superbly won the ball in midfield. Carvey Elliott. I thought you were like treble What winners. are you on about? I thought you were treble we're winners. We're about 40 places above you in the league. Yeah, this is crap. You, I thought Come you were meant to be treble winners. All over the gaff. Oh. It's going off. You didn't need to do that. No, you have to make the save there, Roars. You, do you know what? You know nothing about keepers, I know Royce. everything about Honestly, keepers. Honestly, for I know your life, keeper looks like he's out of the village, He's just made people. a fantastic save. <laughs> Our keeper's made a fantastic save, and you're, you're yeah, out young here man. with Aaron yeah, Ramsdale saying the best down, keeper. I said, young man. You wouldn't know a keeper if he, if he hit you in the face, mate. You wouldn't, you wouldn't know a keeper uh, if your life depended on it, right? I'm better goalie than you. How are you? That's a fact. Everyone got no reflexes, and you're, you're half you're, the you're size. The worst, you're the worst goalie I've ever seen. Yeah, but I just don't want to, I, I've already got a broken nose. I don't, want another, I don't need any more broken <laughs> facial features. <laughs> I hate being a goalie. It's so it's horrible, isn't it? It's yeah. horrible. Yeah, yeah. Oh, jeez. This is a tough <laughs> half an hour. It's still half an hour without a time. No control in midfield. From no, you, you got, you're, I'll you're take about Rodri. Rodri being good. Where is he, Look at this. Touch. That's good. That's a great touch. Let's put it in the corner Kevin now, De Bruyne. Let's put it in the corner a little bit. It's a l bad pass. It's this pass, though. Now, now, now. Oh, move easy, it, move easy. it. That's it. Slow it down. Slow Relax. 67% possession for Liverpool in the last five It's a lot minutes. against City, that, isn't it? Because you add another 10 onto that because it's against City. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 100%. He is... Whatever happens in this game, so far, he's got it spot on. Um, are you going to read this one out, mate? Do, uh, do you think Kelleher needs to leave Liverpool? If so, where? Top six? Uh, top five, top six? Who's that from? Johnny... Oh, it's Darth mate. Johnny Sins is back. Thank you, Johnny. Uh, do you think Kelleher needs to leave Liverpool? Do you... Kelleher? Yeah. Leave Liverpool? Where is he going to go? No, you uh, no, stay with no, the, the reason why he needs to leave is because I think the intention here is Kelleher is obviously a first choice goalkeeper for most teams. Like he's playing in a way that is, he's played this season when he's been asked. He's fantastic, yeah. Uh, he's, Should he be playing regular Premier League football as a starter is the, is the suggestion, I think. He might go to a, pa a palace. He's that kind of level. Or one of the promoted sides. He's a Premier League keeper. Wait. He's not a top six keeper right now, is he? To start for a top six side. Oh, but mate, I, I've not seen movie, enough. We're doing I might this be harsh. Again. We're doing this I again. might be harsh. Me, I've never known a man that I disagree with more when it comes to goal. Yeah. We, the pair of us, we just haven't got yeah, an agreement what, here. What, what's, what, what are we disagreeing about? He's a fantastic cut keeper. I've not seen him you enough. Said, you said Palace. I think, not... I think that Kelleher, if he were to leave Liverpool, I think if you're second as, if you're second at Liverpool, if you're second at Man City, it's the same principle, by the way. I think your next move is definitely a Champions League team. He's not a Champions League I mean, we've just said the same about Ortega by Munich, was your, was your suggestion. That's just the situation of Sitter in. He's fantastic. He's good enough to start. He, he's a further along in his career. Kelleher right now is not starting for a Champions League club. I believe you. Maybe in the group stages. Maybe for Newcastle then, if Karius can be getting games at Newcastle. Not, not for me. Do you he, think Kelleher is a better goalkeeper than Nick Pope? No. No way near. I haven't seen Kelleher put a foot wrong, mate. Nick Pope's won Golden Glove Awards when he was at Burnley. <gasps> was that a shot? I uh, don't know if he's trying to catch him off, but young man. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't see where you're. I, I back you on so many football opinions. I don't know. Yeah, we've. I don't know what I, where I, you get I, it from. I often agree with you, but you and I are just. We look at Paul in a similar here. way, and I can kind of see where yeah. you come from. I get I, it. I think. I, look, not going what back have to you Ramsdale. Seen from Keller, he doesn't. He's I've, ne I've it. never seen him put a foot wrong. I've seen. I've he's, seen him in. I've seen him play against Chelsea two size, years ago. The sample size. Yeah, the sample size is small. I agree. The sample size is small, but he can only play in those games where. Like, so you're saying Champions League club he's not better than Emilio Martinez he might not be better than Martinez but Villa have an exceptional goalkeeper don't they that isn't you that have isn't, to be because no, they're in the Villa, top five. Villa have Villa are specific yeah. Villa have a weirdly out of sync goalkeeper they have a goalkeeper fine. better than punching above their yeah, weight sort of thing yeah. fine be, Vicario is a better keeper from what I've seen this so, so Keller, Kelleher would immediately start for Brighton West Ham you just said Champions League Okay, he would immediately start. No, look, you I can take it back. He's not no, a Champions no, League I, I keeper. No, no, I think if he were to leave Liverpool, he'd be a Champions League goalkeeper. Give me a club that he justifiably starts for in the Champions League. Okay, he's not better than Villa, but Villa, Villa are in a very exceptional situation. Yeah. I like. I'm not trying to slag him off, by the way. No, no, I've I not seen think, enough. I, no, 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 to I think, think he's a top level he's keeper at that level off. yet. I mean, he's a good cup. He can be a good cup keeper and not be, you know, at that level yet. I think he could be. By the way. I think he could be starting for Liverpool if Alisson leaves next season. Alisson no, no left with, uh, for Saudi Arabia, didn't he, in, in the summer? So Kelleher could start. Oh, that's interesting. Do you think if, if Alisson were to leave, do you think Liverpool think, try that's and That's why buy I think he doesn't goalie. leave. If you leave, you're not getting into the market in the same way. You'll never play for Liverpool again. No, but if if, if Alisson were to either leave or, or or whatever, if it were to just change, yeah. do you think Liverpool promote Kelleher yeah. or buy a 
goalie. They buy a great keeper and give Keller the opportunity, a bit like David Rea and Ramsdale compete at the start of the season. They played a game each, didn't they? Game each, game each. Then Rea took it over. If Keller was good enough, he'd, he'd start for Liverpool. I think I think that would happen. Who are the who who are going to make the Europa League spots this year? Wolverhampton Wanderers. Wolves. Definitely starts for Wolves. No, Jose Sar is better than Keller. Do you think? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's been fantastic, so. Who else is going to make? It's hard. It's a hard debate because we can't. Yeah. I've not seen enough. Yeah. I've seen enough of Petrovic this season. Think he's a good keeper. Very you know, good keeper a, and young. Yeah, we've and seen young. enough of Edison. Oh my god! They're in, oh no, they're not. Well done. Is that John Stones? That was brilliant work. Yeah, brilliant work, Stones. Poor oh, profligate the play, Ortega. Ortega, man. Oh, good clearance oh, from Aki. My ass. They're all over us. They are all over you. Oh Lord above. <sighs> Lord above. Oh, I heard that click. Mate. <laughs> <In my mouth>. <laughs> <laughs> if you did you hear that everyone in the chat? Did anyone hear that? Could that did that was that picked up by the mic? Oh Jesus. God. Roy's just dislocated his shoulder. <laughs> Popped it back in, I think. We've got to do something here. There's no out ball. Look at this, he lost the ball again. Lost the ball again. Yeah. Harvey Edit wanted Shit. it more than Foden there as well. That's a good little Interception. Now, oh, Harlan's ball playing. Now. I didn't realise Harlan was on the pitch. <laughs> I know what you mean, though. He's been absent, and Liverpool done a fantastic job of isolating him and not giving him anything. Makes you wonder. Is that Doku, yeah? Makes you and Kovacic. Kovacic, great. I, I, Shut I've up. seen him in the first. Shut no, 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 I've seen him now. I've, I've seen him in the flesh. I saw him at Spurs in the FA Cup. I was like, what's this guy doing? Get a grip. What? Yeah, just get a grip. What are you on about? You know exactly what I'm on about. I'm on about you getting a grip. I don't know. I'm saying I'm on your side now with Kovacic. Oh right, sorry. Yeah. I no, thought, no, no. I thought no. you were going the other way. No, I don't. I don't. I see it what now. I thought you were doing is going. I've seen him in the flesh now. That I don't guy's, see him at all, man. Is amazing. Oh Jesus! Come on, you've got to give Silver a chance there. Um, Do you remember a player for City called Javi Garcia? He drinks sangria. Yeah, there was a chat yeah. about that. Yeah, um, midfielder for City in the Pellegrini era. Yeah, he was a good midfielder. Could do everything very, very nice. Mm. Didn't do anything wrong. Yeah, but he didn't do anything great. He was very Albert Riera. Yeah, he's very, yeah. Um, very Albert Riera. Yeah, one of those players that kind of goes through games. Lovely, lovely. Kovacic is like that. That's what I'm feet. trying to say. Yeah. Kovacic is like that. Yeah, lovely touch. But doesn't doesn't wrong. influence the game. No. Doesn't, doesn't do really. enough. No. Doesn't doesn't change the game. Lots doesn't... of those diagonal balls that don't break the lines, but they look like they're good because he's playing them into what, a fullback. What Kovacic was very good at when he was good, but look, I, I I didn't think he was good enough. I really didn't. I didn't think he did enough. I thought he had all the touch, all of the. Do you, do you know the the comparison I'd make with him? You know, if you think about what Kovacic has in his locker, in his ability. And you compare it to say what? I'll give you a great example. Do you remember a Chelsea player in the Drogba era called Solomon Kalou? Of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. <gasps> oh, you oh! fancy him in a bar? He's come on Phil Foden's bunch. Oh my God, what an opportunity! The ball's just come around. It's bounced the off the keeper. The ball's come around. Keller has come out and punched it. Keller has come out, a whipped in cross. It's a whipped in cross from Nathan Ake. Keller has punched it. Oh. It's ricocheted into Phil Foden's boat race, and has hit the crossbar. Might have been a handball, actually. Very oh. very difficult to give the handball, I suppose. But it's hit the crossbar. We've got out. a couple of chances in us. I think City will take a draw now. I'd definitely take a draw. Mm. Arsenal will take a draw. I would bite your hand off for a draw. Arsenal will take a draw. No question. But no, the difference between Kovacic and Solomon Kalou, right? Solomon Kalou didn't have anywhere near the sort of skill that Kovacic has. No. But he used to influence games. He'd come on and nick a winner. He'd dribble and he'd lose it and he'd win it and the ball yeah, end up yeah, in the back yeah, of the net. Yeah. Kovacic never used to lose it, never used to do anything. But very rarely... Had an impact on the game. No, no, no. He's got to be very careful here, Ortega. He's just getting caught. He's taking a little bit too long on the ball. They know there's an Riera opportunity has, there. shot, has slid in there and he's nearly done a whistle. Riera? Harvey Elliott, you mean? Harvey Elliott. Albert Where'd Riera. you get Albert Riera from? It's a great shout. <laughs> he played for Man City, you know, for a few games. Yeah, yeah. Very, and then obviously went to Liverpool. Um, <laughs> Albert Riera, fuck me. Yeah, some players, they just... Oh, those are the glory days, Arsenal weren't they? once had a player called Glenn Helder who was the fastest footballer I think I've ever seen in my life. Genuinely. Glenn Helder, where Glenn is he Helder, from? Glenn Helder, the Dutch. Dutch, yeah. Yeah, he's so so quick. But he just didn't do anything. In the no, league, he wasn't very club. good, no. Yeah. Oh, nice. Go on, let's do these now. Let's do these now. That's it. Kova, keep the ball. There's nothing wrong with looking after the ball at the moment. In at the moment, the yeah. At the moment, yeah. Do you think Guardiola, if you're Guardiola on the bench now, do you think he's pressing for a win or do you think he's happy with the point no no happy with the point he believes the side have got enough now to win it 
he well, will win believe the game. that. But he'll practically speaking, he will take a draw a million percent, and I would too. This Liverpool side have been absolutely fantastic. They really have, and they were last game. Remember the last minute draw, uh, Trent great finish. Yes, uh, at the Etihad, they they match us yeah, then. Yeah, they matched yeah. us now. Uh, this is a great title race. It really is. There's nothing between the sides. Yeah, there's so many. I, 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 it's a bit of a shame that like we don't play each other closer Again. to April and May. Yeah. Because you know Arsenal nearly drew last night. So and, Arsenal and, play. You know, you think, Arsenal don't play Liverpool anymore. They play you. They played Liverpool home and away. I think. Yeah. Yeah, I think they have. Yeah. They have played Liverpool. Um, the last they game they beat them recently. They beat them three one. Yeah. The the last game that directly decides the title race between the is three it? is Man City Arsenal. Uh, after the international break, we'll be live for that. So make sure you subscribe uh, and let us know your predictions for that game in the chat down that below. That could be the biggest game in the club history. It'd be huge. It'd be huge. The club have never had a bigger game. No. This club, I mean. No, yeah. Uh, and Miles has been on holiday to recuperate. I'm sure he'll be around to be on the live as well. And we'll be covering it with Super 6. So make sure you download Super 6 and you can put in your predictions when it comes around for Man City, Arsenal. Huge game. There's still 50 minutes in it. But look at this money. £750,000. I'm led to believe that's how much is in the briefcase. I'm not quite sure, but that's a huge amount of money for downloading Super 6 uh, and predicting some football scores. So make sure you get involved. Uh, the link somewhere down below. Boovie Delusional. Why'd you do that? Boovy Delusion. Why don't you build me up? I big you up, but I'm saying that JWC has said Boovy Delusion. I have to. What's the delusion? He just said that you're deluded. Yeah, but he doesn't uh, extrapolate what he's trying to say. He doesn't expand on what he's trying to say, Roy. Extrapolate, JW. <laughs> extrapolate. Roy, you're being annoying now. I've got a hangover. <laughs> Are you hungover? I've not had a drink in 80 days. Are you back boozing yet? back boozing? Yeah, my first drink in 80 Where'd days. Where'd you go yesterday? Uh, it was the night before we went out to the Gymshark, AJ and Garnu fight. Oh, how was that? Do you know what the best fight was? Uh, Zhang versus yeah, uh, Parker. Parker. That was a good yeah. fight. And uh, Zhang's huge, man. Yeah. Fuck you. Big no. Bang Zhang. He smashed Parker. And Parker, to get a win on points is an amazing result. Did you... Was it good? Was it a good crowd there? Yeah, it was a good laugh. Bougie? Yeah. What's the uh, gossip? What's the scandal? Tell me no, the... No, tell me no the... scandal at all. No scandal. Of course there was. No, no, no. Was um, it late? Late finish? Yeah, it was very late for me. Did yeah. you stay there or did you go somewhere? I went somewhere else. With the crew? People I know? Uh, had a few drinks and then left. We were in Shoreditch House for a bit as well. Oh, but, um, God. I'm one of them guys Agony. now. I know. I'd rather, be, I'd rather be dead. But they have they have good spicy margaritas. I'd rather be dead. <laughs> I'd genuinely rather be dead. Yeah, it's it, it's it's a mad place. Um, it's dump. Uh, um, <laughs> did you? Where did you go beyond that? Just a night out. Raving. Night out in the town. Yeah, I've not been out in a lot a long long time. Uh, Eighty days, nearly a third of a year, isn't it? It's About ridiculous. a quarter of a year. Ridiculous at that age, yeah, tender age as well. Yeah, I know. I know. Mm. But yeah, so I'm hungover, mate. You gotta just be. You gotta be. I'm being incredibly kind. All I'm you're doing, being, I'm, you're, you're, I'm, you're reading out the, the negative. I'm, you know, you're reading out the fucking negative comments. They're not saying I'm the I'm the, the best. No, Man City I did fan also read out earlier. With. I did also read out earlier where I said you're the goat. Why did you? Yeah, there was somebody put Boovy equals goat. Why do you say I'm the that? best Man City fan we've ever seen no, on you, you, YouTube? I will tell the truth. Okay. You were the third best Man City <laughs> fan on YouTube. <laughs> Doku, of all, oh. of all of the Man City presence on YouTube, can I at least? No, no, but there is no Man City presence for me. I'm a Boovy presence. No, you are. I represent. No, Boovie. you are. You represent Man City. You are by by far top ten Chelsea fans <laughs> that ever 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 done the thing. No, I would CFC say CFC fan Blue Lions TV. You're a legend of that. Mate, I right? would say that the best. The oh look, De Bruyne livid. De Bruyne, De Bruyne, a yeah. fuming with. He's not been able to influence the game. It's that's down to Liverpool. Yeah, he's, he's, also, he's, he's also annoyed that he's because in his eyes, I imagine that he hasn't been able to influence the game because he's not on the pitch. Yeah, and a great player wants to do it, but he realised that he need legs legs in midfield. I think he'll be frustrated if there's, you know, if it's like Fernandinho coming on or mm. you know someone like that. Kovacic is like, oh, I don't really get that. Yeah. If I was, if I was, yeah, if, I was Bruyne, yeah. if it's like someone with legs, like yeah. to cover ground, I yeah, get yeah. it. But um, I'd go Steve McInerney, big bald Johnny, is Johnny, big bald Johnny. Is that his name? Don't know who you're on about. And then Boovy. Johnny, Steve McInerney. Yeah. I'd go, here's what I'd go, I'd go, uh, uh, I'd go that George guy, the YouTuber from Bali and all that, Reading, uh, he's from Reading, but he's a Chelsea fan, uh, George, he's fantastic, got Lewis, Louis, you got, fuck it, loads, you got Olivia Bazaglio, Zach Jalab, she's the go, you know. she, she's the actual go, we got Don't loads now, I'm thinking, I can think about 25, Steve McInerney, big ball but John, here's, here's the thing, I think you're the biggest Rory Jennings fan in the world, <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on Liverpool, <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. I think you're huge, mate. Uh, Mac but, but you are Rory's. You're, you're a big no, guy. You're a big personality. Mac and Ernie, yeah. Bull John, <laughs> Boovy. Boovy. I don't even know who's Bold John. What are you on about? Uh, Let me know in the he, comments. He, I'm so sorry. If Bold John you're watching, I'm so sorry, Bold John. I don't, I don't know. Bold John. I've never heard of Bold John in my we life. Talk about him. I've never I've never heard of him. Bold John. I've got the name right? Never heard of him. But um anyway, esteemed company, numero uno. He's fantastic. He's fantastic. He is. He is. He's a legend of the game as well. <laughs> He's a legend of the city game. Can we scroll to the to the current? Is this the current? All right, we'll get okay. Oh, we're doing super, a super chat. chats. The Richie says, "Speaking of bail, speaking of bail, <laughs> Jesus Christ, <laughs> was Walker right to say Bale's final season was the best individual season he was teammates with? Is Saka better than Bale? I'm young. Don't murder oh. me, please. Never saw prime Bale. The Richie, you you're young. There's no murdering occurring. Saka. But no, Saka is incomparable to Bale." At the moment, why not turn your hair out, Wars? Um, because he's young. He, because he's, he's told us he's young. He's told us he's young. Yeah, but I was young. I knew Pele was on the greats. Do you know what I mean? I knew I was young. Yeah, he's learning. I know yeah, Johan Cruyff. He's, he's asked. Well, let's let's teach him a lesson. Saka will never lace Gareth Bale's boots. Never. I, Period. I think that's true. I think I think that's true. I don't even think that's. Saka right. might go down as top five wingers to play in the league one day. Maybe Bale goes down as one of the greatest Feet. players to ever come out of the country. Oh, that was lovely from Luis Diaz there. Um, by the way, Boovy, you have to take your top off. Look, Ellie Luth, we've hit a thousand likes. It means take your top off. We've done a thousand likes. You yeah. said we wouldn't get there. Take, take your See, top if, off. If I listen to you, Roars, I'll be a glass no. half empty pessimist. I'll be living in a basement, hoarding uh, hoarding water and canned food, waiting for the apocalypse, mate, if, if, I, if I was you, mate. A thousand likes, you take your top off. Elite Levy says, I was the guy who told Boovy to shut up earlier. <laughs> Remember when he just went, shut up? Yeah. It was you him, it and out. now he says, sorry. How can you say we didn't get a thousand likes and we did it? Okay, take your My top target off got hit. Why would I no, do So you're that? lying. You take your... So you're a liar. You're, why, are you obsessed so, with my, why are you obsessed with my body? So, <laughs> so all these people, oh. all these people have liked the stream expecting you to sit there topless. Why do you keep... Why can't you bring any sustenance of football knowledge to the chat instead of you're going on about naked blokes? <laughs> I'm just saying. You're going on you, about naked blokes. Mate, you look. Get your top off. Look at all the comments. Uh, keep, get your top off. Get I your I apologise to everyone who subscribed to the channel for Roy Jennings at a moment, okay? I think he's mate, uh, hungover. He was in Shoreditch House the other day. Everyone you were in Shoreditch House the other day yourself. Everyone is saying... Oh, I was not. You were? Oh, dump. Well, I saw your absolute, Instagram story. Absolute dump. I saw your Instagram stories. Get them stories. tits out, Boovy, says saw, Big Daz. I saw your Instagram stories. No, well, don't stalk me. What, don't stalk what, your public you social stalker? media. Why are you stalking? What, are you public, looking at my stories? What, what, your public what, are you, what are you looking at my stories? <laughs> what are you stalking me for, what, your man? your public information. Don't stalk me, man. Don't stalk me. But you, yourself, I thought you were cool. Get yourself, get yourself a girlfriend, I thought, mate. I thought, I thought, Roy's, at, I thought Roy's at Shoreditch House. I thought he's super cool, man. No, you didn't. You thought Roy's at Shoreditch House. He's lost his mind. <laughs> he died. He died and gone to hell. Oh, on the turn. Great little touch there. Oh, yeah. They haven't found it today, that final ball. I might be wrong. I came here for him to take his top off, lol. Who okay. has? Look, someone's paid a super chat to tell us that he's t he's tuned in for you to take your top off. A bet is a bet. Well, take your sense. top off. There's 99% women in the chat. I get you. it. I get take it. Your top off. Well, I get it, Royce. No. Mate, also, imagine imagine how your, uh, uh, what's it called, the thing you're on? What your, thing? your app for the dating, I forget. No, no, I'm, I'm on no apps. No, you showed me the dating thing. <laughs> you're a little grass. <laughs> he's the biggest grass in football YouTube. Yeah. There's a reason the Bill hired him to be a grass professionally on the Bill back in the day. June Hill and all that. Yeah, what was it called? Sunny, what was it called? Sun Top. Sun Hill. Sun Hill. <laughs> Who's June? June Brown. June Brown. <laughs> no wonder he's getting arrested by June Brown, all right, for grassing up, right, the North London connection and all that was going on. Sun Hill, right? Rest in peace, June and all that as well. She got done do you know in the, what was in such a shame? Do you, know, do you know what? When I used to work on the Bill, it's such a good job, right? I love doing it because it used to be in Labrick Grove, really near where oh, I yeah. live. They moved it to South Wimbledon. I was like, no, what are you doing? It <laughs> was on show, Barbie right? Road, Labrick Grove. I was like, Great I could show. be there in 10 minutes. Suddenly, Max Brannan's brother was on it, wasn't it? Yeah, it was... That went off the air. I can't believe that went off the air. Boovy is on Grinder. That's the one. Yeah. 100%. That one? No, that's not. No, that's one. not the one. Uh, it's another one. It's another one. I'm not on anything, okay? I'm agnostic to romance <laughs> at the moment. Uh, stop, stop it. Uh, who is it? <laughs> Ruby Rubinsky. Get your top off. Stop it. 
We're watching a serious football game. It's the biggest game of the season, and Rory's banging on about some random bloke getting his top off on a it's Sunday. Not random, it's it's you. the Lord's Day. Look at the date. It's the tenth of March. Look at the date. Tenth of March. It's the Lord's Day. He's meant to be in church. He's going on about blokes with their top off. Um, we've got five minutes left of the game. Absolutely huge. Um, oh, Jesus. I think both sides might take a draw now. I think the, uh, the energy's gone out of the game a little bit. Now. That's a problem. No, can't you can't risk. lose it now. Oh, Diaz has just won the ball, mate. Oh, how's he won it past a Kanji there? Kanji's frustrated. They got their tails up, Liverpool. No question about it. Just fucking clear it. Clear it. Tony Pulis. Pulis. <laughs> Ref. Ref. That's a yellow. That's a yellow. <clears throat> it's been a good game in that regard. I think, I, I, the referee has not got in the way of the game in any yeah, the way, game has he? The game is flow. The problem yeah. is with these two teams, they're both too good. They kind of cancel each other out a bit. Yeah. And weirdly, the quality, you know those little moments... Like, Luis Diaz probably should have scored. Phil Foden probably should have scored. Yeah. Like, there have been moments where the elite players on display haven't necessarily lived up to their billing as elite. I think Liverpool fans would, you know, it's a shame we don't have one here now because I think they'd be so gutted with Diaz's touch. Mm. Um, although although Phil Foden should have scored after about one minute, yeah, shouldn't he? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. On his, uh, what was it? On his right foot, wasn't it? I struggle in real life to remember things during the game, you know. Yeah. I really do. What was that one on his on his... Was it on his right foot, yeah? There was one on his right foot where he tried to dink it and you said it's a shame that wasn't on his left. Yeah, yeah, went yeah. Through on, went through on goal. Yeah. But there was another one, there was another one um, very early in the game, which I think was on his left. Mate, Reaper is removing his like because you're a liar. Well, see, adios, amigo. No, no, don't do that. Adios. Hey, don't say goodbye to likes. You've got to like, like the stream for great football content. That's all you get. The only reason the I liked was for Boovy to get his top off. I'm going to have to switch to a dislike and I'm not going to follow through. If he's not going to... That's harsh, isn't it? What's wrong with these people out here? We're, it's a cold world. I'd say what's world. wrong with you. Why are you such a liar? It's a cold world out Why there. Why are you a liar? It's a cold world. Like you're, you're a liar. You were a professional liar on the bill. <laughs> you got paid to lie. Mate, you're a professional liar Act, on the club. Acting on some level is lying, isn't it? You're professionally lying. No, you're not professionally lying. You are. You're professionally telling stories. Telling you're stories which story are fictitious. Uh, you are a storyteller. Which are fictitious in nature. <laughs> <laughs> Dislike time. Oh. This already disliked, mate. Unsub. Oh, unsubbed. Uns unsubbed. Oh. Unbelievable. Mate, you've got to take your top off. You you shut up. <laughs> Fully grown man over here. <laughs> just, I actually meant that. I was like, will you just shut up? <laughs> <laughs> Fully grown men over London here. London Romantic Meal. Right, it's called Le Cloche Magour. Where's that? Cov uh, in the in the heart of Covent Garden, oh, it's the right. most it's the most romantic restaurant in the world, I believe. What's it called? Le Cloche Magour. Le Cloche Magour. That's where you need to go. Just go take, get yourself a table. Take your missus to Le Cloche Magour. Maybe get yourself a, I don't know I don't know where you live, but you could get yourself a nice hotel room that night. Uh, you'd have a lovely night in the Connaught. Dinner at Le Cloche. Night in the Connaught. Should be should be all over you, mate. Like a rash, eh, Boof? <laughs> I can't afford a place like that, mate. I don't know how you do it, but uh, I'm living hand to mouth out here, really. I, you know, I'll take them to Costa you've got, Coffee. You've, you've got seven hundred fifty thousand pounds. Just nick one for a date, yeah. <laughs> right, I'm gonna nick a couple of notes from Super Six. Look at this. This Le Coche Le <laughs> <laughs> Uh Unbelievable, unbelievable. Oh, the specimens. I was gonna actually. I nick need a to few. double check that I haven't just like butchered the pronunciation of that. How would you say this, Boovy? Say it to, in case the geezer actually wants to. Book it. Come on, Doku, beat him one on one. Beat him, beat him, beat him. Klosh Magyur, have I done it right? Oh! Post! Oh! oh! Jeremy Doku has hit the post in the 88th minute. I had a good feeling when he when he got the ball one on one against oh Joe Gomez. God. Yeah. Oh my god. That was unbelievable. Oh. Look, the keeper stranded. Salah's in! He's not. Mate, someone's going to win this game. How long do you think we're going to play? How long do you think we're going to play post? Four. So there's five minutes in total, I think, left of the game. Make sure you like the stream and let us know any final predictions for the game as it happens. But we've got five minutes left of the game. Absolutely huge. <laughs> not reading that out. No, I'm not reading that out. Jesus. Um. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, Jesus Christ. Doku on his left foot. Not see enough of that this season. He takes things on his right foot, cuts oh, in a lot, but so on his close. left, on the outside, beautiful. Did, did Kelleher get something on that? Just I'm not this. sure. Not sure. God. Oh, that's great. Got one more in us. Come on, give the ball then. Boovy in the bin. Fuck you now. Doku, one more time, please. Please. Oh, fuck you now. Tries to play the ball back to Kovacic, misses the pass. Boovy, stop being a puss. <laughs> Fully grown adult over it. Got a family and everything. Younger than me, aren't you, by heart? By heart, you're younger than me, aren't you? Movie, stop being a puss. <laughs> In your heart, you're about 12 years old. Seriously, it's Benjamin Button over here. Yeah, picture in the attic. Honestly. <laughs> <laughs> stop scrolling up now on the chat. I swear to God. Stop it now. Rip the shirt off. Leave it, on the, leave it on a nice piece of football. Oh, look, lads, I'm here for football <laughs> insight. Booby, whip your shirt off, Scallywag. Come on, lads. Jesus. Eight minutes. Who's making up eight minutes in this game? Who's been down for eight minutes? Booby, look at all the emojis you've got. Fuck in the bin. No. In the bin, disabled. Thanks for commenting on these. We get, uh, uh, we no get sound, revenue out of this. No bells. Save our souls. Booby, silly sausage. Eight minutes. Where have they got that from? Where have they got that from? I don't get it at all. It's always childish when Boovy's on. Yep. Uh, what can I say, lads? Fake promises by Boovy. Lies. Tell me lies. Tell me <laughs> three little lies. She's playing in the summer, actually. Tell me I lies. Part. Tell me, tell yeah. me lies. Stevie Nicks and all that. Yeah. No, no, we can't discuss. Heard Liverpool may replace Klopp. With a little heard Spanish manager called Boovy Areola. Did you get it? Pun. It's called a pun. Boovy Areola. What's that got to do with anything? I don't really know, but I shocking like to chat. Read it out. But thanks for spending your money on it. <laughs> shocking chat. <laughs> I don't know how the refs given eight minutes. Uh, you know, if they go and win the game, it's an absolute farce. <clears throat> farce. Has it been eight minutes? Really. 1.1 likes now. It really does have to Roar, be Roars, any football insight from you? <laughs> I've been waiting for about six years. I'm still waiting. <laughs> Earth to Rory. Um, wait. Just leave it on Rory. Earth to Rory. <laughs> Single on Boovy, please. Single on Boovy. Nope, nope. Single on wide, Boovy, please. Wide at least, but cut, not me. Cut wide to Boovy. Cut to Boovy. Wide, wide at least. On tight on Boovy. Oh. Wide at least, Will. I think what well, we need well from Boovy... Mate, you, you basically lied. Oh. Your word your word is Bro, a pie crust. It's the biggest game of the season. Just have a day off. <laughs> I don't get it. Mate, we've done lots of football chat. Yeah, yeah. Only channel subscribers of one minute or longer can send messages. <laughs> there you go. Didn't know that, did you? <clears throat> oh. We've got to slow the game down now. We haven't really slow controlled it. Slow the game it, down. We? We're in the 92nd minute. How much slower can it go? We've got to slow it down. Keep the ball. It's been a great game, though, hasn't it? It's been all right. But a draw hasn't really... We don't learn enough, do we, about the Premier League title race in this game? Five things we've learned. Yeah. Give Not me one. Someone will do that. Yeah. Will you do it on your channel, do you think? No, I'm not a five things we learned kind of guy. No. You? No, 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 no not me. Not me. <clears throat> McInerney. Oh, offside. Will. Offside. He's oh, at the he's bar the anyway. Bar. He's offside. <laughs> They score it these days just in case, you know. Mm, it's not a bad idea. Which is, yeah, I know, I know. I remember the first one to do it was John Joe Shelby. Do you remember he scored yes. that goal? He threw on goal. Yes. It's like phew, ridiculous he had to and do that. And it was awarded, wasn't it? Yeah, it was ridiculous. Miles off. Miles off. We've been good for that today, to be fair. Defensive line for Look, offsides. I'm not looking anymore. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, not, not, I'm not saying You're so deeply unprofessional sometimes. It's ridiculous. I'm just sitting here. I'm sitting here watching a beautiful game of football. I'm watching a beautiful game of football. Is it because you're so disenfranchised with your own club that you've got nothing else to talk about? I've got loads to talk about, mate. What have you got to talk about? I've got to talk about... Um, Boovy doesn't... No. No. Can't say that. <laughs> Can't say that. Um, City have got the ball now. <clears throat> 
could be another game where Rodri is undefeated. Uh, one one all draw now is not too bad at all. Yeah, so mate, a one all a one all draw, a draw at Anfield is always a good point. Yeah, yeah. Like in, regardless of context, you're, it's always a good point. Yeah. How many how many points leave you off Arsenal now? Uh, I don't know. Let me have a look. Oh, after this, well, oh. Doku's in here. Mate, if you score, on, beat him. He's, he's beating him. For he's, done it. he's done it. He's done it. Doku. Oh. oh! I think Foden could have dummied that. You know, Harlan was behind him. No one's running near post quick enough, were they? Um, the table as it stands puts Arsenal on 64. Oh, it doesn't update on the Sky Sports app. I think it would be Liverpool on 64 and City on 63. I think. Okay. So, um, so one point between all three sides. And I, I've predicted that anyway. By the end of the season, I think there'll be about one point in it between all three sides. Yeah. Oh. oh dear, oh dear. Right, this game is petering out, isn't it? Do you think Liverpool are happy with the point? I think they'll be frustrated. They had about five or six chances where they hit the target, they, they score. Mm. Diaz could have had at least two goals. That's um, two one-all draws this season, isn't it, Liverpool? So do, yeah. do, you, know, do you know what's going to be almost a guarantee? Liverpool, Arsenal... Have taken point to three off Liverpool, three off City. Um, Arsenal will be top of the mini league of the top three. So you know if you create what was the Anfield Arsenal game? One all. So Arsenal got four points out of Liverpool. They got three points out of City so far. Minimum, got, minimum of three. City have got no wins against Liverpool Arsenal this season so far. So you're bottom of the mini league. Often you say that the team who's top of the mini league will win the league. Oh my god, it's got in each other's way. That's not a penalty. Get up. Why are you diving? Get up. Mate, Liverpool should have got shot off there at the very least. Why is he diving? <clears throat> Probably to try and win a Look penalty. Look at him. Look at him. Diving. Oh, I don't want to say it, but. Diver. What a diver, man. Come on. Do you want to see a great player like Salah being like that? Was you it, see, was see it players a living. Dive, yeah, yeah, fucking soft as anything. Pathetic. He's trying to call it. Let's have a look. Look there, what they needed to get the shot off. They were both in each other's way, weren't they? Soft I don't know. Anything. He's used his body to roll Lacke. Hang on, look. He uses his body. You're allowed to use your body. Look. It's not a penalty. Mm, no. Yeah, he, he, he he crumbles. It's not a penalty. I agree. Crumbles. It's not a penalty. Pathetic. I'm not necessarily calling it a dive, but I am calling it not a penalty. <laughs> Absolute rubbish. What's the, <laughs> what's the pizza movie pizzas? about? Why are they all pizzas? Will's laughing. What does that mean? What's Peach has got to do with it? Boovy. Uh, Will. Oh, for God's sake. You started this. I did not do that. I didn't say that. Jesus. Is that what they're saying? Oh, Why are they saying that? the attack here. Corner kick. Fuck it now. Mate, you're in a weird situation. You've got a really stressful thing going on, but then you've got this pepperoni thing. Yeah. Yeah. It's a tough life. <laughs> Professionally, I never thought I'd be in this position. <laughs> uh, professionally, you know, when you look back at your LinkedIn, you think, yeah, I was here in 2016. In 2017, I did this. 2018, I went to the World Cup. You'll and, never forget watching you know, this game of pepperonis. Yeah, uh, I'm sat here. Let me see what's going on here. Why are people saying this? Oh. This is the final action of the game. <clears throat> Clear it. Clear it. Clear it. Oh, he's let the ball bounce. Get up. Why are the Liverpool players diving? Why is he down diving? They're trying to get VAR on it. It's pathetic. Oh, fuck you now. Oh, Diaz. Oh, my God. It's another corner. Mate, this is getting intense. <laughs> this is getting really intense. Oh. Mate, McAllister's down. Is this going to be looked at? They're, they're trying to do VAR. It's pathetic. Mate, is this going to be looked at? They're a, playing the game for Liverpool VAR. Liverpool about to get another penalty. I hope Liverpool fans are proud of this. They're playing for VAR hang on, decisions. Hang on. It's pathetic. Mate, McAllister has just been kicked in the tummy. Hasn't he? Hasn't he, Boo? It's pathetic. Wait, what's pathetic? He's been kicked in the stomach. Mm, no, not for me. When you say not for me, he's been kicked in the stomach. Oh, they've gone to VAR. But I don't understand how you can't think it's fair to go to VAR. He's been kicked in the stomach. Given a corner, you're all right. 
<laughs> you thought that was a penalty, didn't you? Of course I did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, of course Oliver. I did. Saint Oliver, I call him now. I'm going I'm to give him a, a stained glass he got window. He in the stomach. No, but it's not, is it? It's not. Oh, it's not a penalty. At the end. Ref, scheme over. Game over. 1-1. One, one. One all. How are you feeling, Booth? I'm glad he didn't ruin it with VAR at the end. So glad. I, overall, I asked you earlier in the game, would you take a point? You said no. Realistically now, looking back on everything considered, a point at Anfield is an excellent point, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Jurgen Klopp's last foray into, into Premier League management against uh, Pep Guardiola. Yep. There's an added incentive for Liverpool to win the game. Surely a point at Anfield is good for you. Yeah, it's an amazing result and they were the better side today, I think. I think there was moments where City had you know control and we could play around the corner a little bit, but ultimately Liverpool were the better side today. So if you're the better side, especially in a title race game, and you don't go on to win it at Anfield in the last opportunity you have to beat City and take real points off the club, then I think you have to say... City are in the favourable position. And in terms of winning the league now, uh, the, the happiest person in the world with regard to this point is presumably Mikel Arteta, right? Yeah. That, that penalty, that equaliser would have been celebrated more or at least as much in North London as it would have been in uh, Merseyside. And for Premier League fans, I think Premier League fans want to see a three-horse title race up to the final few days of the season. Um, and it could have gone <clears throat> very differently if Arsenal hadn't have beaten Brentford and if Liverpool had gone clear uh, at the top of the table today and they haven't done that. It's a very flat, Genuinely competitive three horse tart race, and it leads on beautifully to Arsenal after the international break for Man City. We'll be live for that, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a single thing. Uh, podcast out tomorrow, uh, and obviously a big debate coming up as well. Uh, club debate coming up. Looking forward to that. Um, absolutely beautiful. Roy. Wonderful. I've loved it. I've had, a, I've had a brilliant day. Thank you for making it so entertaining. Overall, who's going to win the league, Booth? Uh, I have to say it's going to be Liverpool going to win the league. This guy, this guy. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you all in a little bit.